Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I hope everyone is well. So we're playing Miguel tonight. Um, we're probably not going to go on too late, if you see what I mean, because we're um, going to be up kind of early tomorrow um, for, uh, for an appointment. And also um, I've got my new housemate moving in as well. So um, yeah, we kind of need to be fairly, fairly early tonight. So I thought I'd get going a little bit sooner, and it helps me as well, so we'll get back into kind of more routine. Um, anyway, let's get rid of these gloves, because I don't know why, but this outfit always seems to have saved these gloves on us, um, even though we never wear them. <laughs> um, and we've got both shotguns on our back, which is kind of interesting, so let's um, sort that out. Uh, right. I want to use, what was it, the repeater, and, um, what do we want, the pump action, yeah, we'll stick the pump action on the back as well, didn't realise that I've got bass as well, actually, that I could sell, um, we should probably go and get rid of that, <laughs> not that it's going to earn us any money, um, because most of the fish, I think, still only give you like 50 cents. But yeah, it's better than nothing. Um, Miguel is um, not particularly well off <laughs> compared to uh, Cliff. Cliff's just past the $800 mark um, <laughs> because of all the, uh, the times doing delivery work for Miss Valentine. Um, Miguel's got about three, 400, I think. Um, Cliff would have about the same amount of money though if it weren't for the fact that uh, we've been given $300 fairly recently. Um, let's, um, let's go and get our... Uh... Out, I think you should look out, my friend. I don't think uh, you should be telling me to look out. You're being a fucking idiot right there. <clears throat> um, yeah, let's go and get our horse. Um, oh, stay up. And see if we can't find um, some mischief to get into. Don't run me over. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we might, because it's still kind of early. The servers, like what they've been doing now, is making sure that um, people get in by slowing down the connection rates. From people when when you connect you still get put in the queue um, but it will put you like in a longer queue to sort of get in um, so um, our Wallace train station are the thing of nightmares at the moment for us <laughs> anyone that saw yesterday's um, fiasco down at Wallace, Wallace train station <laughs> will know full well what just what happened yesterday <laughs> um, for those that didn't, there was a brief, a brief moment, me and Lana, um, who's played by Zahara, were um, doing deliveries and stuff together, and um, we ended up going to Wallace Station for one of the deliveries, as you do, and um, there was a bear, and the bear decided to fuck Cliff's day up. <laughs> so, um, Cliff got smashed to the floor and, like, yeah, has... Um, Sustained. Well, he's not. He's not dead or anything, obviously. But um, he. Um, well, I say obviously, but yeah. If you get mauled by a bear, there's a good chance that you might be dead. So, I suppose the point is, yeah. Um. Anyway, he got mauled by a bear, and um, we <laughs> we tried to jump on the roof. Of the uh, of the <laughs> of the train station to get away from it, which has worked in the past. It's worked virtually every time, apart from the time when I got shot by the uh, the guy doing the delivery, um, because I was trying to help him and he thought I was trying to shoot him. So um, yeah, but that's another that's another story. Anyway, <laughs> we um, we got to a point where we had uh, got up there and this bear came like rampaging at us and like smashed me into the floor, knocked me out, um, unconscious and everything. Um, Lana had managed to get up onto the roof of the uh, the, the train station and um, took the bear down 
Um, or I think she might have killed it or she shot it enough basically to like scare the thing off. Um, but anyway, she uh, she picked me up and ran me all the way from um, that uh, that spot over back over to uh, to Valentine. Um, I don't know how she did it as well because I I remember hearing her saying like when I was laughing so much, but I remember her saying like she just got to the water here I think and was like oh shit how am I going to get across because she was thinking she was going to end up dropping my body in the water or whatever and not being able to get through kind of thing um so I don't know how she got me um back up there but yeah anyway she she took me all the way back over there and whilst I was being stitched up by the doctors um she uh decided to like do cliff a solid and go and look for his horse um, and she went off with um, with Somber, um, who plays Ar Odvar, um, to uh, to try and help find my horse. Anyway, Lana then got attacked by oh fucking hell! Here we go. This is this is exactly what I didn't want. And these these fucking wolves. Let's not fall off now, Miguel. Let's not be stupid here. This happened to Cliff, but it doesn't have to happen to you. We can we can stand here actually. We'll be alright. Um, where, where have they gone? They run away now. Is that it? That's all you've got? I only had to kill the one, and and you're good. Let's get the shotgun out for when they return, because I'm sure, I'm sure as soon as I come back into their like range, they're just going to be like, "Yeah, fuck this guy." Um, let's harvest the meat from this dude anyway. Oh, I think that's just going to get rid of the corpse, isn't it? Damn it! Carved off bigger meat, bigger meme, a oh, big game meat. Um, okay, there we go. Don't, don't fucking shoot me, dickhead. I just saved your ass. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's going to be a wolf down here now. Which, um, yeah, might persuade uh, Desteo here to chuck us off our horse. So we're um, going to be careful as we go back down here because I've got a feeling that, um, yeah, we might get ambushed again by them. Um, but at least it worked out better this time than it did the other time. Because what happened to Lana was Lana got um, smashed by the bear as well um, when she went looking for my horse and Odvar had to bring her back um, and they couldn't find Lucky but Lucky, I basically, we've kind of said like Lucky is a homing sort of horse, he finds his way home all the time, um, he knows his way around kind of thing, so he'll, he'll eventually he'll find his way back to a stable or to a, one of the stable hands will find him and then you know, they'll bring him back um, and, and stable him for us kind of thing. So we were kind of like, yes, yeah, don't worry, like, in future, <laughs> but yeah, thanks for the gesture. <laughs> It did make me laugh though that like both of our characters got absolutely mauled by this one same bear, um, and um, yeah, got got stitched up and um, yeah, put back together again. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, anyway, so yeah, we decided to play Miguel today. I'm not sure if um, I'm not sure if. The, the usual peeps are getting on, or um, if um, the other group and stuff like um, that we were rolling around with um, a couple days ago when we last played Miguel are going to be back on, but I thought we would play Miguel today just for a, a bit of a change um, because we played Cliff yesterday. Um, we did like an event and stuff as well. Um, we made a bit of money actually doing that too. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy that we uh, that we did that, and we we did stay up really late. But um, yeah, it's um, <laughs> it's one of those. If 
we hadn't done it, then we wouldn't have had the RP, and if we hadn't, yeah, had the RP, we wouldn't have had a potential opening for a job and stuff. So, um, oh, hi, Colton. Um, unfortunately, it's a uh, it's a role play server. Um, so unless you're whitelisted, um, you have to go through a whitelisting application process and and that kind of thing. Um, but this is a role play server. Um, so this is Wild West RP. Um. And yeah, as I say, it's um, it's like uh, a different server to what you would see on just like Red Dead Online, if you see what I mean. Um, but um, oh, so um, I'm playing on PC, and um, this is like a custom server that's been made using Red M and um, scripts and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, basically, it just uses like the assets and so on from. Um, the standard game, the, the Red Red Dead Redemption 2 game, um, and then you um, have like modified, um, well, pretty much anything can be modified and changed in the game, um, like down to things hidden on the map and stuff like that. Um, like this for example, this is a delivery job, this lady here gives you a delivery job to do. Um, we've got to go to the hunting cottage uh, northwest of Valentine. Um, but yeah, the um, the roleplay servers and stuff like that are usually quite um, in depth, and the idea is obviously like not to be sort of grinding money or you know doing the roles and stuff like that because there are no roles basically in, on a roleplay server. It's like you play a character and you interact with people the way that that character would interact with them based on their personality and, and the kind of things that you've sort of said they're going to um, be doing, if you see what I mean. So, um, yeah, roleplay is like a bit different to the normal uh, Red Dead um, online, if you see what I mean, that, that experience. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's um, if, some, if it's something you're interested in doing on PC, um, obviously you, you have to be on PC really to be able to do it. I don't think there are like roleplay servers on Xbox or PlayStation, but um, you can find the details and stuff if you Google um, Red M. Um, that will uh, that will bring you to like the website where you can download Red M, uh, which is basically the Red Dead Re um, Red Dead Redemption version of 5M, which is the uh, mod that everyone uses to um, do GTA roleplay. So like um, streamers like you know uh, Lang Buddha and people like that um, who do sort of GTA roleplay and stuff, that's the thing that they're using um, in order to do that. Um, but yeah, there's a there's a version of it that you can make um, work for, uh, for Red Dead Redemption, if you see what I mean. So uh, people have made like custom servers and, and that kind of thing. Um, and this is Wild West RP. Um, and if you go to wildwestrp.com, you can apply for the whitelist on there. Um, it's. I don't think the whitelisting is open at the moment. I think it's going to be a couple of days now until the whitelisting reopens. Um, I think it reopens on the 12th or the 14th, if I remember rightly. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's a good server at least anyway. Um, and uh, obviously there's lots of other ones as well. There's some that you don't need to be whitelisted for as well. Um, so you can kind of um, find ones that you don't need to be whitelisted for just by like loading up Red M and um, yeah, searching and stuff on there and you'll find a, a good handful on there. Um, the ones that are whitelisted though tend to be a bit more serious in the sense that you won't get um, you know trolls and people coming into the servers. Um, I mean you still do to a certain degree. Some people obviously like make it through the whitelisting process and then they just come onto the server and act like idiots but um, yeah, most most of the time, um, the people that you end up, you know, meeting and stuff on roleplay servers are going to be like, um, you know, playing a character and um, they'll be sort of acting in accordance with how that character would, would act. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's fun to do, and uh, I do voices and that kind of thing. So this is like. A little, um, a little way for me to 
do voices and yeah, have a sort of a, a fun time checking in on your last date. <laughs> Miguel! <laughs> Good evening. I don't uh, don't believe we have met Zahar. <laughs> Wishful thinking. <laughs> Your last break. Ah, oh, that's cool. Off for the next couple days, that's going to be nice. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm not going to be on too late tonight, so I thought I would play Miguel, because um, I know everyone else is going to sort of get on, um, you know, in a couple of hours or whatever. Um, but if I'm playing Cliff, I probably won't be on that long tonight anyway. Um, probably till about like 11 o'clock or 12, maybe at latest, kind of my time, because um, I've got to be up for a, an appointment tomorrow. Um, with the dock, and also I've got um, uh, got my housemate or a new housemate moving in um, as well. So um, yeah, we've got to <laughs> got to do that. Um, I wish that I could stay up like till all hours of the day and night, but yeah, it's just not really possible. I need to get a routine and everything going as well. So that's like part of the uh, part of the difficulty. Um, so that we're not going to be up until like four and five and six in the morning sometimes. Um, hey, general store, love it. Really, we've got to make you a full-time streamer. <laughs> a chance would be a fine thing. <laughs> That's a player there for sure. Um, but yeah. Um, hey, partner. With with this, I've never like. I don't. I'm not set out to become a streamer or anything like that. I just I do it mainly because I enjoy role playing and and also because I like capturing the gameplay and like keeping it, preserving it. If you see what I mean. So um, yeah. Um, excuse me. Yeah. Excuse you. Exactly. Why don't you uh, turn away and walk now? Because uh, you're very rude, ma'am. But yeah, um, <laughs> I I just do this for the for the fun of it, um, not really for any other reason. You should try to do some voice acting gigs. Um, I'd love to do that. I just don't know how to sort of get into it and stuff. Um, oh, we've got to go to the hunting cottage that we just went to. Um, yeah, I don't know where the, f the first place I would like apply for voice acting stuff would be, if you see what I mean. Because um, I, everything, like whenever I look up like voice acting and that kind of stuff and how to get into it, like a lot of people say, oh, you need to have like a an agent or someone who's going to be applying for things for you and stuff like that. Um, and like, yeah, Lo I'd love to do it. My um. The one thing that I'd love to do in life actually would be to like commentate on um, on golf, um, be like an on course, um, an on course uh, correspondent, whatever they call them. Um, so watching people play and stuff, and then like yeah, commentating on uh, on them playing. Um, is that a you can start independent projects? Yeah. I don't really know, like, again, it's like, it's finding, like, things that would, I could put to, like, voice acting agencies or, like, you know, people and say, look, this is what I can do. Um, shoving links in my DMs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just, like, I'm totally clueless about that kind of stuff. Like, I... I feel like I've got a talent to do voices and that kind of thing, um, but um, yeah, it's very much like how do you break into that kind of thing. Um, I think you have to be very lucky as well. Um, all of the big sort of voiceover artists and people that I know of, like Don LaFontaine and um, people like that, are um, people who've been like in situations where they've they've like had a lucky break, um, like. Don LaFontaine, the guy that does the um, 
You know, the whole sort of, it was a time for heroes. Those kind of movie voices, if you see what I mean. Um, movie trailer stuff. Um, he was a sound engineer working in a studio um, recording people doing voiceovers and that kind of things for like adverts and movie trailers and stuff like that. And the person that was meant to be doing the voiceover for this one particular um, thing wasn't able to make it. So they were like, can anyone here do like a deep voice and read this script? Um, is the, the company's brief is basically they want someone that can do this and like the guy hasn't shown up. So he gave it a go um, and yeah, discovered that he had a, had a talent for it. Um, and that's how he became, yeah, the movie voice guy, if you see what I mean. Um, but yeah, I, I've always said it, I would love to do, like, you know, cartoons and voices for, you know, adverts or whatever. Um, and then be like, be that guy that no one knows. Morning to you. Damn it! Why would you steer in front of me, dude? Are we done here? Yeah, we are done. <laughs> um... Uh, Heartland's oil fields. Okay, we'll go this way. Um, but yeah, I'd love, I'd love to do it, Sahara. But yeah, it's just um, knowing, knowing how to get into it. I suppose that's always been the problem with um, with all of these kinds of things. Like um, when I was at um, school, like drama was the one subject that I was good at. See what I mean? Um, or one of one of the only subjects that I was good at. I was good at English language and that kind of thing as well. But um, is that uh, I looked like a player just sat there for a moment. Um, but yeah, I was good at English language and good at drama. Um, and then yeah, sort of mediocre at everything, <laughs> everything else. Um, but yeah, my drama teacher absolutely hated me. <laughs> I think it's just because a lot of the time I did just like do silly voices and stuff like that. I wasn't like an actor in like in the physical sense, if you see what I mean. I could do voice acting and impressions and mimic and stuff like that, but um, I wasn't like a, a stereotypical stage actor or you know someone that would act on TV or whatever like that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, a lot of the time it was just yeah doing doing silly voices. Um, but I was about one of the only kids, like, we did we did Under Milk Wood and stuff at, at school, which is like, um, uh, Dylan Thomas, um, play, and, um, it's supposed to take place in Wales and everything, and, um, I was about the only kid there that could do a Welsh accent, um, and, like, my teacher was just like, you can do the accent and everything, but you just, you're, you're not very good at acting. <laughs> um... Which kind of sucked, <laughs> but made me think like, well, okay, never mind. Um, can I sing? Uh, not really. I mean, I'm kind of, I don't know, Some sometimes I can sing, I don't know. See, I've never like had real singing lessons or had anyone like assess my singing or anything like that. Um, but I end up, because because I'm kind of like a, a mimic and an impressionist in some ways, I end up like trying to sing the same as I hear the song, if you see what I mean. Um, so yeah, it kind of ends up being like, yeah, another version of the same song basically, but yeah, um, sung in a kind of mimic thing. I don't know that I know my own voice, if you see what I mean. RP is just improv. Yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's the thing. I think also singing for me sometimes, like, because it evokes a lot of emotion and stuff in me. Um, particularly if it's like a song that I like, I have a, a strong emotional tie to that I'm trying to sing. Like, yeah, sometimes I won't be able to sing it just because I would like. I would feel like I'm gonna like well up and stuff <laughs> like when the lyrics just stick in your throat because you're like 
shit, man, I can't sing this. <laughs> uh, well, I can sing it, but yeah, it's going to come out like... <laughs> like, just crying. Um, but yeah. One of these days, one of these days... You never know. I might, um, I might find a way. Uh, got to go back to the Heartlands oil fields again. For fuck's sake! I've just been there. Good evening. How are you? Uh, how are you doing there, my friend? I am doing okay. I had some trouble waking up today. Uh, must have had nightmares or something. Oh, it's odd. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad, my friend. Uh, you are uh, sorry. What uh, what is your name? I'm uh, I'm Miguel, Miguel Sanchez. Hello, Miguel. Uh, my name's Advar. Advar. Oh, good to meet you there. It's nice to meet you as well. Are you just doing some delivery? So I was gonna start out the day with a few. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, just doing uh, the delivery, and I've got to go back to uh, the oil field. I just come from there, and now she's sending me back there again. She. She could have just given me this package to take with the other one, but uh, you know, for some reason she uh, she just too stupid or forgetful about uh, where where she have to take these different packages. Yes, uh, I've noticed that also. <laughs> Although sometimes she lets me go back and forth to the general store a few times in a row, so I think that maybe is why you know she's making up for the time she sent me back to back to Wallace Station to get eaten by bears. Oh yeah, I just uh, just got back from there a couple of deliveries ago, and uh, there was a pack of wolves trying to uh, trying to kill the man that uh, I doing the delivery over there for, and uh, uh, I got up onto yeah. the rooftop, uh, managed to shoot uh, one of the wolves, and the other ones just ran away. But uh, they 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 killed a man there on the uh, on the train station platform. Uh, the rooftop. That's a good idea. I'll have to remember that. Yeah, it's it's because I'm quite tall, and uh, I just saw it. I was thinking, you know, I, I've got to got to get away from these uh, these wolves because they will they will rip my arm off or something like that, you know. Yeah, I I was surprised one time I went inside uh, the station there because uh, I think there were three or maybe four that day, and they came into the station with me. So I All I right. thought once I got in there I was safe, but that was a bad assumption. Although. Only one got in, and I got him killed before the next one got in, and so they slowly trickled in through the door, and I was able to shoot him one at a time with my bow. So. Oh right, yeah. I don't. Uh, I don't use the bow. I. I kind of have. A, I got a repeater and a shotgun. Really, that's that's kind of what I use most of the time. Yeah, I. I mostly switched to my rifle now too, but at the time I only had a bow, so I didn't have much choice. That or kick him to death. Although I have had to do that before too. So. Oh, you uh, you kick one to death! Wow, that's uh, that's pretty uh, I, pretty mean right there. I kicked four to death one time, but Holy I had shit. a ro I had a rock to be on top. It wasn't a tall enough one that they couldn't get up on, but only one could get at me at a time, uh, and it took forever. And I got bit like four or five times, but somehow I didn't pass out, and I slowly kicked them all to death. So, oh, so don't give uh... up if. Even if you, if even if you get knocked down or are out of am ammunition, don't give up. Keep trying. Sometimes you get lucky and they'll run away, or you can get them knocked out before they do you in. Yeah, yeah. I'll try to uh, try to remember that for next time. If uh, if ever I don't have any ammunition on me, or uh, you know, forget to buy some. Well, if you yeah, if you said you, oh yeah, I see. You've got a shotgun and a, you're probably fine. You probably won't ever have to do what I had to do. But anyway, <laughs> it's just something to remember, I guess. It's not all is lost if you uh, if you uh, only have your fists and feet to to deal with. So. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what uh, what you normally do uh, for work? I've, I'm usually uh, I'm kind of a gaucho from Argentina, but uh, haven't really uh, had much call for uh, you know taking uh, cattle anywhere or I haven't really got any cattle either I'm, I'm trying to uh, trying to get enough money to be able to uh, afford a ranch at some point and be able to breed horses for people that's my other love of uh, the world but uh, yeah not really uh, not really able to do that right now I'm going to use uh, my, my horse here the Steo to uh, be my breeding uh, stallion he's a uh, he's a big boy he's good uh, yeah, he's good to breed beautiful. I believe that's a Turkoman, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, actually, uh, Turkoman they are uh, one of the oldest breed in the world. Uh, some people believe the uh, the 
real uh, Turkoman are actually uh, extinct now, but uh, these these horses right here, this one, the, these type are responsible for like uh, about 80% of uh, you know all all the horses, uh, all the type of breed in the world that you uh, you can find. So uh, yeah, I'm going to use him to uh, to hopefully breed uh, many different type of horses for people. Well, I applaud your uh, your plans. That sounds like a a really good. It's nice when you can work on something that you have passion for, and clearly you love your horse and uh, would like to be able to help other people get fine steeds, also. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, in the meantime, I uh, kind of do anything else that can help me make money. So a lot of the time, I uh, I used to do a lot of hunting, but uh, I speak to this lady here a little while back and. Uh, Realize that she's uh, she's tremendously lazy. Sometimes, like you say, she send you over to the general store there. Uh, you know, I was just kind of walking past her one day, and she say, uh, "Would you mind taking this to the general store for me?" And I was like, uh, "Well, okay, but I mean, you know, it's like a fifty-yard uh, journey right there. I mean, you can, you can do it yourself." She was like, "Well, I'd, I'd rather give you money to do it for me." So I go, "Well, okay." She said, just don't look inside of the package, you know, so uh, I, I don't uh, ask no questions yes. and uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm the same. I've always wondered too, uh, what, so, what is worth so much that uh, a 50 yard uh, walk can be worth $7. So I think uh, both of us <laughs> have made a wise decision and just uh, left the satchel closed. Yeah, yeah. I think I, it's I also for the noticed best. that... Uh, that most of the people that I run into when I'm delivering packages a little farther out are uh, have a gun in hand when I ride up. So clearly, uh, they're uh, concerned about the deliveries also. So yeah, I'm not sure. I think the the guy at Wallace Station do it because he have a problem with them wolves over there all the time. But uh, uh, yeah, but even the lady up on Cumberland. Um, oh, that's true. Has, actually, usually has her uh, repeater out when I get there. So. Yeah, but, actually, she uh, kind of mean sometimes as well. You know, I saw the wolves get after the lady uh, up to the north across the river, though, and she doesn't have a gun, so uh, maybe I'm just wrong. Uh, now, the, the weird cabin that's burned out over here close to Valentine, that, my horse, my horse gets scared every time I get there. I, I hope you've never gone in that basement. Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, I did once or uh, twice, actually, uh we, we kind of uh, walk in there, me and my friend, and uh, we look at each other and turn around and walk back out again. We, we say to the lady that was upstairs, you know, you don't, uh, you don't want to go down there, you know. It's, uh, it's not, the, not the right place for, uh, for a woman. And uh, yeah, you, you, might, uh, you might have somebody, you know, kind of creep up on you or something like that, you know. Yeah, I... I kind of thought maybe there was a nest of snakes down there because every time I'd get close with uh, my frayer, um, he would shy and I couldn't see anything around. And so I thought, well, let me check down here in this basement. Maybe there's some rattlers or something down there that, you know, he can hear that I can't hear. And then I was very sad that I ever walked into that place. Oh, yeah. that, uh, I don't like to live yeah. in there, but for $7, I'll do it. Yeah, so long as I don't have to uh, go inside that place, uh, it's okay, but uh, make me wonder what kind of uh, person would be, you know, standing above that place either. You know, I, I always ask yeah. the lady there, you know, when I see her, you you know what happened down there, right? And she like, she don't say a word, but uh, hmm. I'm pretty sure she uh, maybe have something to do with it, but I'm, I'm not going to uh, let her get alone with me, you know, and I always have a shotgun with me so uh, yeah, I can uh, I can say to her you know you don't try none of your shit with uh, with me here and uh, yeah. if, if you are responsible for the the things that go on in that basement well just don't do that to me because I might have to shoot you all right yep that's a that's probably wise although she hasn't ever given me any trouble although they might have made her uh, take her station there specifically because people probably don't like to go there yeah, you could be right, actually. There was uh, another place, actually. Uh, you're going along the uh, the railroad up there. Uh, uh -huh. Just a little way out of Valentine, actually, there was, like, body parts a while ago. I'm not sure if the, the local uh, yeah. law enforcement have now taken it away, but... Uh, there, uh, you mean hu human body parts? Yeah, yeah, like, uh, I'm pretty sure there was, like, an arm or a leg or something like that. Like uh, some, you mean today? somebody, no, no, uh, I'm 
It's a little while back. I'm not sure if, like, uh, like I said, the, oh, the law enforcement have taken care of it. But uh, yeah, there. Are, I think there is a, how you say, a psychopath around. Uh, yeah, I have. I don't exactly know what that means, but I have heard heard people say that. So I guess yeah. disturbed person or something like that. Oh yeah, I think this person very disturbed. You know, they they uh, they kill without uh, any reason. It seems. You know, perhaps they they are just a. A ruthless murderer but uh, I mean like you know I've I, well I probably shouldn't tell you but I've I've killed uh, a couple of people myself in the past but uh, it was deserved you know yeah, they were they were trying to kill me as well because uh, well the man who I take this uh, sombrero from I'm not actually Mexican by the way I'm from Argentina but uh, I get this yeah, I, uh, I've, I get I've this sombrero myself, from there but... But yeah, this yeah, man, I've, uh, he, uh, I've been told the best cowboys come from Argentina. Yeah, the gaucho. We are, uh, this is, is really a South American thing, but, uh, Argentina, you know, uh, we are proud gaucho. Uh, you get a lot from Chile as well, but, uh, yeah, this, uh, this man, you know, he, uh, well, he tried to cross me after he befriended me for a while and he tried to, uh, lead me to some banditos and, uh, well, I found out what he was doing, and uh, basically uh, ended up ended up be being a situation where it was me or him, and uh, you know I decided I had to uh, take things into my own hands, so to speak. Yeah, well, if you've already faced that, you'll it will probably serve you well here. Um, I I don't know how long you've been around the state, but uh, there seem to be plenty of opportunities to have to protect yourself in these parts, also. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've uh, I've been around for quite a while, actually. Uh, just not uh, not around this district all that much. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of uh, feeling like you know it's a nice place uh, over here as well in this uh, this train stop. But uh, usually I'm I take the third train stop. But uh, I'm feeling you know more like uh, like like this second one now a little a little bit more. I see. I'm covered in shit. I've uh, I've only well, I've been to all the different uh, train stops, but I've been to this one the most. I have um, the very first day I got to Blackwater and got off the boat. Um, I wound up at this train stop, and a couple people were real nice to me here, and so I mostly have spent my time here um, in my two weeks or so since I've gotten to the area. All right, yeah. Yeah, I've been around for uh, yeah many months now, but uh, well, it feel like that, you know. But uh, yeah, uh, I was not around for a little while. Uh, me and my friends, we were kind of planning some things, and uh, not sure actually what has happened to them. They're they've kind of gone missing, so I'm I'm hoping that they are still okay. But uh, yeah, I'm not oh, sure. Were they, were they also from Argentina? Uh no, they are. Uh, I think uh, they are all American, actually. Apart from uh, their, well, no, actually, yeah, they're uh, American, and there is one guy who's uh, English. He uh, he called uh, Mr. Black, Casper Black, but uh, yeah, there is a there is a lady called Miss Snyder and uh, another man called uh, Callahan. But uh, I don't, I don't recognize any of those names. All right, yeah, like but, I said, like they I said, are. They they haven't been around all that much, it seems, and uh, I'm kind of worried maybe that 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 they have uh, you know fallen found of some people or something like that maybe. Well, I certainly hope that's not the case. I'm hoping they went off to California to get some of that gold or something, uh, and something less uh, less uh, sad than having fallen a foul of one of the gangs or something. Yeah, let me move out of the way for this man. All right, my friend, you can shut up now. Go. But yeah, I mean, uh, I've been around for quite a while. I've uh, was uh, kind of looking for uh, new uh, new people to uh, roam around with, as as they say. I see. What what um what sort of folk are you looking to uh, to be with? So I you asked me what I did, and I never actually said. I I mostly farm. All right. Okay. Uh. Well, I mean. 
I'm kind of like, uh, like I say, I look to uh, try and earn money any way that I can, really. But uh, don't mind how uh, how I do it if you catch my drift. Oh, I see. Mm, yes. Uh, my best recommendation, uh, there's a Mr. Kojak and a Miss Lana, and they both have Russian accents. <laughs> and they're often in Valentine here. All right. And okay. they, they know many people. And uh, they seem, uh, I, I guess they're they're just really good at um, meeting people, talking to people. I'm I'm pretty terrible at it. So, um, but they uh, they also are always looking for new ways to make money, and uh, they seem quite good at it. So whether it's security work, or um, everything from farming to hunting to security work to um, to some of the other things that that uh, you know some of the less uh legitimate ways to earn money i think they've uh tried their hand at almost everything and uh and they're around a lot all um, right and and they have friends in several other groups drink of, uh, um, juice, there's a ford and sons uh organization they put on the horse races horse races oh right. they're they're almost always looking for people that are good with a gun for security jobs um those would be probably, and I think Mr. Kojak is now working for them. I saw him dressed up all fancy yesterday. So, uh, but he, uh, Kojak also, he mostly hangs out with a group called the Tightest Posse. Oh, the um, Tightest Posse. Yes. Right. Uh, yes. And they were, <clears throat> well, I think they still have the license to operate the bar, the Keens bar up at the other end of town. But um, I think... I haven't actually seen anybody behind the bar in uh, I don't know two or three weeks, but they, a lot of people gather up around there. Um, it's kind of that one's a, a more not a company, but more a loose a loose group of friends. Well, I guess they call it a posse. So, yeah, yeah. But again, uh, there's a Mr. Doc, um, a Mr. Red. Uh, well, Doc is actually Tobias Redwood. He also uh, is trying to start a new grocery business not just groceries but he wants to be able mm. to deliver milk and um groceries <laughs> and other things both to people and to businesses kind of the get to be a large scale um and he's been posting uh advertisements or general notices on the telegram uh board uh looking for drivers and uh security and farmers and everything so that might be another option, but he's with that group. Again, um, the people that I see the most regularly are Lana and Kojak, and, and they're friends with all those people I just mentioned. So, All right, okay. I'll, uh, I'll keep a lookout for them. Uh, yeah. They move around from, from train stop to train stop when they go to the events. Um, they fight in a lot of the fights and they uh, also do uh, they work with uh, Ford and Sons for the horse races so when those events are going they'll be on other servers but when they're not um, uh, other uh, train stops yeah. but when they're, uh, when they're not <laughs> the <service>. uh, out <laughs> on an event they mostly seem to be uh, in this district alright well yeah I will uh, keep a lookout for them there was a group of people actually I meet while I was uh, I was trying to uh, buy this new saddle here for uh, my Desteo, because uh, it's been so long that I've uh, been out of town that the the, the saddle boy, he, uh, he sold my saddle, my Baquero saddle to somebody, and he won't give uh, it back. So, uh, that really? I had to, yeah, I had to buy a new saddle. Mr. Slash? Man, Mr. Slash seems like the hardest working feller in these parts, of, but I guess he mustn't be getting enough tips or something. I, I'm real sorry he stole your saddle. That's yeah. not acceptable. No, I was... Uh, I was pretty pissed off with him actually when uh, when I saw him uh, there was a group of people they uh, they come they approach me and they say uh, you know they're they're talking about uh, you know doing maybe more kind of uh, I suppose it's like a bit more nefarious kind of things you know uh, and um, they, I was kind of thinking about maybe getting involved with them but uh, I'm not sure you know at the moment oh. still they, they've told was me it? to have a think about it did they have an Italian accent? Uh, no, these uh, these people were uh, all American, I believe. At least uh, okay. the, the people that I meet. Uh, were they wearing black and silver? Uh, yeah, like my waist, waistcoat here. Yeah, the, okay. like the same yeah, kind of that's, thing. 
I think that's the cult gang. Yeah, the cult. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, so I, I've never met them. I know uh, they seem to be having issues with Kojak and his crew. Oh, no, really? Yeah, but I don't know how serious it is. Uh, but, I mean, I think that would be true with any of the groups. If you, yeah. I mean, every, you know, I think they all want some of the same territory and want some of the same uh, business opportunities. So I think, you know, no, no matter what side you would choose, you probably are always going to have some other group that, yeah, that yeah. maybe is, you know, um, I don't know what the right word is, competing with them, I guess. But yes, no, yeah, uh, I, I have. I have heard about the Colts a lot lately. They seem to be making a name for themselves really quickly. So if if you're looking for notoriety um, and excitement, it seems like they they have that in spades. So yeah, I mean, not really looking to uh, yeah become like uh, famous or anything like that because you know I try to try to keep myself to myself really uh, most of the time and. Uh, you know, if I'm going to do silly, you know, silly things like that, you know, like robbery or th this kind of thing, you know, I'm not going to be, uh, yeah, shouting it from uh, the the top of the roofs here, you know. But uh, mm. if you, well, there is a group um, that is often at train stop too, called the Hagen Crew. All right, and uh, not they. Heard of them. So if you look up there over my shoulder, uh, the, one of the tallest mountains up there is Mount Hagen. And they have a camp up on top of it. And uh, the people that you'll see the most are Mr. Teddy. Um, I think his name's Theodore Brasco and Miss Corvus, Elizabeth Corvus. And then they have three or four other people that I see with them real, real regularly. And they, uh, let's put it this way. I mostly see them in three places, the general store, the bank, or the sheriff's office. Oh, right. Yeah, so they get uh, they get caught quite a lot by the sound of this. Uh, they do, but they also, I think, get away more than anybody else. I think it's just the sheer amount of uh, robberies they do. It's, 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 almost, it's almost unbelievable. So, I mean, yeah. I don't think they get caught more than other people uh if you look at it by a, a fraction but they just rob so many places so often that uh sooner or later you're gonna see them at the sheriff's office yeah no i uh, understand what you mean there i mean yeah, the but, these people the cults they uh they sell they tell me you know they've done uh, they've done things and never been caught for it but uh I don't know how much to believe of, you know, anybody really, but, uh... Oh, do you want to step in under the tent here? Ah, uh, yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, the, the thing about the, the Hagans is that, uh, they rob a lot of places. But I, I haven't really heard them being too violent, where uh, some of the other groups, the Italians, the Colt Gang, and then there's this group called the Men of Mayhem, and I don't know who they are actually, because they always wear masks. Um, but those people um, are the other three seemingly most active groups at the moment, and they don't seem to have much trouble hurting people, so... Yeah, I mean, I you know I prefer not to uh, not to kill people for uh, without no reason. You know, if I mean obviously, like I said before, I, I killed Pablo to uh, to have this uh, sombrero. But I mean, I did, it wasn't the reason I killed him. It's, the reason was because he was going to try and kill me or hand me over to some banditos that wanted to rob me and take all of my horses and my cattle. So uh, I kind of felt like I had to stand my ground and. Yeah, that's why I uh, ended up having to kill him, but uh, I prefer not to be killing anybody, you know, if, uh, if I don't have to do anything like this. There are some banditos that are sometimes at train stop too. Uh, Javier is the one I see the most. He actually wears a poncho similar to yours some days. He has a different colored poncho for uh, almost every day of the week. All right. Uh, uh, but. Uh, Javier seems <laughs> Stuck like a skirt, pretty so. nice fellow, but I think he's admittedly a bandito, so um, it's Javier, Jose, and 
Maximiliano, I think, are the three that I see, but I haven't seen them for a few days now, so I don't know if they've moved on to a, a different district or, or, or exactly what. But, yeah. but there are some banditos in the area too, and if you have a particular uh, concern about them, you'll see some about. All right. I think they are all three from Mexico. They came across uh, on a raft and got separated and then met back up when they got over here, so. Oh, that's, uh, that's interesting. I hope they're not from uh, the group of banditos that uh, Pablo was trying to uh, take me up to, because uh, I think if uh, if they are, then maybe they would, uh, you know, they would recognize the sombrero. I mean, they would know Pablo's sombrero anywhere, I believe, these people, but uh, he was, uh, I mean, Pablo was not really, uh, you know, a terrible man. He, uh, he was doing things because basically those same banditos had threatened his family. And uh, he was trying to protect himself and his family, so uh, he, he, he tried to hand me over to these banditos instead. Um, I believe actually his, uh, his family also got murdered by the, the same people, so they were... They are terrible people if it uh, if it is the same ones, but uh, well, I hope not. Mr. Javier doesn't. I mean, well, it's hard to know. I've I've met people that I thought real well of and found out later that um, I probably shouldn't have thought so well about them. So I guess that's always a thing. But he doesn't strike me as particularly ruthless or violent. Just uh, strikes me as someone who is willing to uh, to earn money um, in ways beyond just the normal farming and, and hunting, so. Yeah, yeah. I used to do a uh, little bit of moonshining here and there as well, like a long time ago, but... Uh, oh, I've heard uh, the Colts. I've heard the Colts are trying to corner that market. So if you have those skills, that, that would probably serve you well in, uh, in yeah. earning your place with them. It's kind of... Uh, the, the thing that I can't really remember is the process, you know... Uh, I can't really remember how how much of uh, the different types of seeds and this kind of thing I need, uh, you know, is uh, is something. Uh, yeah, maybe I need to get some uh, some advice from somebody, you know. But uh, oh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I grow a lot of corn and a lot of barley, and it always sells really well. And I'm pretty sure I know why it sells well, but I don't actually know the process for the shining. So. Yeah, I know where there is a still as well, actually, but uh, yeah, I never I... Uh, never had the things there, like I say, to be able to uh, to make it. So maybe I'll, maybe one day I'll learn from somebody again. I can't really remember it all, you know. Well, if you are looking for a way to make pretty decent money and just get a break from hunting, hunting is certainly faster if you're good at it. Um, but farming, I mean, I. I would say maybe uh, 80 to to $100 an hour if you're really focused on it. Oh, really? All right. Yeah, it's probably a little bit less than that per hour, but it takes a little bit more than an hour to do a full group of crops if you're trying to fill your satchel to the absolute brim. So. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I know people that... Uh, hunt up like up by annisburg and they drag elks behind them um and moose and so they can bring more down per trip and some of them say they can make 300 dollars an hour no problem so all right i i i do hunt but what i do is what you're doing today i go out on a on a uh a delivery and if it's not one of the ones in town i kind of have a place where i know a pronghorn or an elk or a or a bear or a deer might be and then i usually bring one back each trip and that breaks up the monotony of the deliveries and also makes it a little bit more worthwhile to make the trips yeah all right but uh yeah well i mean i don't want to consume your entire day with me john at you but uh Oh, it's no problem, uh, Oddbar, you know, it's uh, good uh, good to talk to somebody as well, you know, uh, also find out a little bit about some of these uh, these other people. I kind of walked into a situation, actually, in the bar a couple of days ago, uh, over here in Valentine, and I'm, the cults were, uh, they were kind of, uh, they were, 
you know, there was a guy with a, like an eye patch, and he have his hands up, and uh, there was another man there in a, like a big blue coat, and he was oh, uh, he was kind of that's saying Kojak to him, "Kojak and L." Oh right, this, this Kojak is the sure. the Russian man you so, you talked about. Yes, yes. Um, Kojak uh, has an eye patch. And he speaks with a strong Ru a Russian accent. He usually wears a vest uh, and no sleeves. Yeah, and that sound like and the then, same guy, I think. And Mr. L has a very distinctive blue coat with lots of, uh, well, sometimes he wears a blue long duster, but other times he has one that has all these blue fringes all over it. Yeah, I think uh, it might have been the, the one with the fringe he wore that, the, this day, but uh, yeah, yeah they're the coats together were, uh, yeah, they, they were saying to him, you know, it sounded like there was some kind of problem, but it seemed to be kind of fixed you know they 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 oh. say they i think is not the person they were looking for yeah it sounds like somebody with a russian accent uh hurt one of the colts and kojak is around a lot and uh, talks to a lot of people and has a very distinctive russian accent and so i think they thought it must have been him but uh kojak says it wasn't him and i think they believed him so all right okay they they told me after the fact in case, so I, I know all these people, but I don't really, um, I don't know. Let's put it this way. I'm often not included in the conversations that they have, if you get my meaning. Ah, uh, right. I think I get your, uh, yeah, your point there. So, so I'm friends with them, but I don't do many of the things that they do regularly. And so, but that doesn't mean that if somebody was trying to get at them and they know I'm around them a lot, they don't know that I might not know the things that they want to have information on. They just know I know them. And so to get at them, they might take me off or shoot me or something. So, uh, so they, it, usually if there's some sort of trouble that seems extreme, they'll take me off and say, Hey, Advar, you know, be careful around the people that are speaking Italian or the people that are in the silver and black or, or whatever. Yeah. So. All right. Well, uh, yeah, well, uh, I will try to uh, keep on the right side of everybody then, because, I, like I say, I don't want to uh, mm. don't want to get that... involved with uh, with hurting people for no reason, you know, especially uh, if uh, it's a case of uh, you know the wrong person in the first place, like that seemed to be. Yeah. Well, it sounds like they were, you know, that they listened and were swayed by words. So, I mean, clearly they're not just coming in and shooting everybody on sight. So. Um, so I think it's going to be a difficult path if you're going to try to stay on the right side of everybody. That's kind of what I try to do, and um, it gets you uninvited from a lot of conversations. Let's put it that way. I yeah, don't think yeah. I don't think anybody fully trusts me because they figure if I'm not doing the things that they're doing, then I might at any point go tell a deputy what I might think I know or whatever. And I mean, honestly, I stay away from those discussions specifically because then. Th there, I'm no threat then. I don't have anything to tell anybody, yeah. even if I wanted to, which I don't want to, but um, I don't know. But it is a, that's not an easy path to walk. I've actually been thinking about maybe trying out a, a new train stop because it just seems like um, I'm always, uh, what, what's this phrase I hear, uh, walking on eggshells, just trying to be so careful because I don't want to offend any other groups and there's so many groups and they're so big now. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's a kind of a shame, you know, my friends aren't uh, around at the moment or, uh, you know, I've, uh, I've taken to the ground, you know, uh, because uh, we, we have like a, you know, group of like four or five people that uh, we trust and we we still like, you know, we talk to other people and we we would do business with other people as well. But uh, yeah, we uh, we just keep ourselves to ourselves a little bit more. Yeah, but, I understand. Uh, yeah, we were. We were planning a few things, and uh, unfortunately, like I say, uh, for various reasons, I think uh, you know everybody's had to uh, had to sort of go to ground right now. But uh, I'm just, like I say, just trying to uh, find some people to uh, to do business with, and uh, you know, make a bit of money in a sense. And uh, it doesn't really matter to me, you know, which way. But uh, like I say, I, I prefer not to. Uh, not to hurt people if it's not necessary. I understand. Well, if you do decide you want to do any farming, 
um, I, I'll buy your sugar and your tobacco from you for five cents over what the general store pays. All right. I never uh, know where to get the, the seeds from for this. Oh, uh, I, can, I can show you right now if you want. Oh, yeah, okay. We, we, we can okay, do that. Let's walk over. You can get them at, I think, every general store. But I've only checked uh, this one, Rhodes, Blackwater. So I don't know, like, if you were at the general store in Van Horn, maybe they wouldn't. But most of them, I think, have them. And the uh, the places you farm, is it just uh, where where do you have to go to farm there? So right now, there's only one place in the state where anybody has been willing to let the farmers uh, grow their crops. And that is the Braithwaite Plantation, and it's down near Rhodes. All right, okay. And yeah, I know it quite well, I believe. Okay, if you go out there at the end of the cornfields, there are some areas where they didn't plant, and they let you grow there without uh, giving you any hassle, and they don't charge you anything. Oh, interesting. So if you talk to uh, Reginald here, I think that's what uh, Mr. Cedric called him. Uh, he should be, he should sell you, uh, seeds. I think they're in the, let me look here, behind the counter. Oh, right, yeah, I yep. see, uh, um, the, barley yeah, seed. The, yep, there'll be corn seed, there'll be sugar cane seed, and there will be tobacco seed. And right now, right. that's the only kind of seed that is getting imported into this state, so. Yeah, yeah. So is there so, anything else you need then, or you just buy oh, the seeds yes, and... But here, let me give you... So do you have a water can already? Uh, no, I don't, no. I accidentally bought too many, and you can only use one, so let me hand okay. you one. All oh, right. Do you want... Uh, I've got some money for it. If no, you like. it's fine. Like I said, I've been waiting for somebody to need a water can because it's just been taking up room in my stuff. So hold on. All right. Thank you. That's pretty nice. <laughs> Som was giving us a uh, watering can. He's bought one too many. Ah, thank you. Uh, you're very welcome. So if with the seeds and the water can, and if you're in the right spot, did, did they give you one of those maps uh, when you showed up, being it was quite a while ago? I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, out. yeah. I've, I've kind of got my own one, which I kind of draw badly on, so uh, I know where things are, you know? Okay, well, if you look at the one that they give you when you first show up in the state, there's a, uh, there's a, sp a spot that looks like maybe a head of a wheat or a, a fern plant down by Braithwaite. It's a circle, like an emblem, kind of like they do for when someplace where you can mine coal or... Oh, right, yeah. So if you go right to that area there, um, and, uh, and you should be able to find a spot where it'll, the seeds will take. At the, it's usually at the ends of the corn rows is where I plant, just because it's easier for me to keep track of my, my plants not mixed in with all the corn. So. Yeah, yeah, I understand. All right. Well, I'll have to uh, have to give that a try then. So, so what I normally recommend to people is, um, if you're trying to fill your satchel all the way full, uh, if you plant, oh, there's another thing that you might want to buy, but it's kind of expensive. It's called a lucky rabbit's foot. Oh, and they sell it right. At, if you don't have one, they sell it at the general store, and people swear to me that they get better yields on the crop if they have one in their satchel. So I actually, uh, actually have one already. Somebody gave me one okay. a while back. All right. Well, keep that in your satchel too. So, um, when you every seed is a chance to grow a crop, and you'll always get some crop, but you sometimes get more than other times, just like all other farming. Yeah. So. But it kind of averages out that about 13 or 14 seeds worth of each of the crops will give you the maximum amount that you've got room for in your satchel. Okay, nice. So a lot of people plant all the seeds first. Um, 
either all of the seeds of a particular type or some of them just plant every seed they're going to plant that day and they don't do any watering until that's all done. And then you water until it becomes obvious that the watering's not helping anymore. And then a little while later, you'll it'll be clear that the plants are ready and you just can gather them up. All right. That seemed uh, seem like uh, easy enough there. It is. And well, somebody was so... I don't know if you've done the pig farm or the wood chopping or the coal mining at all. Have you done any of those jobs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did uh, did a bit of coal mining over in uh, Ansberg. And uh, oh, yeah. when I was trying to leave with uh, with my wagon, there's a bunch of local people shooting at me. Oh, yes, that can happen. The locals up in that part of the state are especially excitable. Yeah, yeah. Don't know why they uh, they they seem to uh, have a have a problem with me, but uh, yeah, every time uh, I've gone there to do uh, to do that thing, they 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 try to kill me when I leave. I um, got out of there have... uh, once before, but uh, yeah, the, another time they uh, they shot me to the point one of my friends had to take me to the doctor. I pass out and uh, yeah, didn't remember much, but uh, all I remember was getting on my wagon and then yeah, about. Two seconds afterward, I was getting shot for no reason. Did did you have your guns on your back? Uh, I can't remember. Maybe I that, did. Sometimes that seems to set off some of the locals. Right, right. Excuse me? Pardon me. Um, and then also, uh, it seems like if you bring your horse or your wagon too close to whatever it is that they're real proud of, whether it's their crops or their coal or whatever some i i find if i hitch my horse up a little farther away i i have less trouble with them getting angry and shooting at me so that might help yeah i might have to i uh, might have to try that i was actually uh <laughs> the reason i was trying to mine stuff was because um well i was seeing if uh you know i could mine and maybe get a little bit of gold there as well but uh oh I don't, you know that uh, don't know that where the other places are to uh to get the gold um Someone tell me that you can uh, you can find a place also to uh, make a uh, like you you find clay there and you can okay. uh, make things with the clay. I'm not sure, but uh... oh, I have not seen that at all. I'm not aware of that. I do know some people that have panned for gold and have had pretty good luck with that. All right, yeah, I might in the uh, rivers. I might try that one day. I did find a place uh, with a friend of mine actually. Uh, Cornelius uh, Hogswallop is his name, but I uh, haven't seen him in a long time. I think he, maybe he he, uh, he might be dead now, but uh, he was kind of old, you know. But uh, I'm I'm seeing a I'm seeing a trend here. Yeah, well, <laughs> it uh, it wasn't me, you know. Like uh, I mean, like I say, I don't uh, I don't kill anybody that uh, I'm friends with, you know, if I can possibly avoid it. But um, no, I I understand, but it just seems like uh, most people who are friends with you. Uh disappear so ah uh, well yeah i mean you, like just, i say i I'm think uh, <laughs> yeah 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 i'm sure but uh I'm, yeah they uh they they've been away for a while now and cornelius you know he uh he is pretty old or was pretty old i don't know whether it is or was because you know i'm not sure if he's still right. around or or what but uh yeah, he was a nice guy, and uh, he he took me up to the place he was born, um, or they they found him anyway. He he was kind of abandoned actually as a as a baby, and they they put him in a little basket, and uh, basically he apparently you know he he was put in the river, and um, his basket he get all the way down to the bottom of the river. Um, but he he took me all the way to the top of the river because he was trying to find maybe you know the place that he come from originally okay. and uh, we were walking along the bank one time of the the rivers and uh there was a place there to uh, to pan for gold and he said to me oh you know if you had a pan you could uh, you could find gold here maybe but um it uh, uh last the last time I went to this same place there was no uh there was no place there to pan, so I was yes. uh, I've kind heard of this confused too. Uh, there. Well, what I've heard is that uh, whoever sets up those stations, um, that they move them around from time to time. 
and so I think there's only a certain number of places that have the uh, the station set up, but they shift from you know one spot to another spot, uh, and you have oh, to check right. you have to check all the places that they might be set up to find which one that day has the has the equipment there for you. Now you, uh, I I have been told that you can just pan you know uh, anywhere where it's marked on the map that you can pan. Yeah, yeah, I would have to, uh, have to try but, that one day. But I've heard that it works much better if you can find it with the setup equipment, so. Yeah, and, uh, I will uh, try and do that maybe one day. Yeah, well, if you want somebody to go along, take me, because that's one of the few things I haven't got to yet. I've been trying out all the, the different options and seeing what, what I like to do and what I don't like to do and what makes some money and what doesn't. And But gold panning is one that I haven't uh, I haven't done yet. Yeah, maybe I will uh, will try to do that then, because I did buy a gold pan one time, and uh, but couldn't find uh, any of the places again, so there was one, yeah. uh, if you have your map, um, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of if you keep going along the, I think is the eastern bank of the, the river that run along the back over here, you know, uh, behind yeah, the, the Valentine over here, yeah, and then they got that right, yeah. Um, if you keep going up there, there was a place on the uh, the eastern shore of the the river there. Um, but uh, I, like I say, you know, if if it move around and these people keep moving their their thing, I don't know where the other places are. Okay, well, maybe we can figure it out um, and start yeah. scouting them out. So, all right. Uh, I I was told that there's a deputy or sheriff one or the other i don't know which hats are which but um uh bocephus carter i think his name is and i guess he'll buy gold at a premium over what you can sell it at the general store so all oh, right okay so i'm not sure wanna... uh, I'm not sure i, I think need have... this man but uh I haven't either, but it again it was i think uh mr kojak um and miss lana when they were trying all the things themselves and seeing what was worth doing they found out that uh they didn't think gold was selling for as much as it should and somebody pointed them to him and they went and i think you he wants like 60 gold nuggets at a time or it's not worth it for him to buy but which would be a lot of a lot of panning but anyway yeah it it is an option that i've heard about so all right i will uh maybe i have to look into that if i start finding enough gold right <laughs> right. Well, I think what they did is they've been, uh, on, you know, Get whenever on, they spot you? a place where they can pan, they spend a little time doing it, and then they collect it together. And there's like four or five of them that all just hand over all the nuggets that they get until one of them has enough, and then they sell. So. Ah, uh, yeah, I see what you mean. Man, I'm roasting hot in here today. It's, it's right. brutal. Well, what do you have planned for today? Just doing more deliveries? Yeah, probably going to do a few more delivery, and then uh, I think I might road, uh, ride over to Rhodes because uh, the place, uh, you know, there is a um, there is a little stable just kind of between Rhodes and uh, Emerald Ranch, um, and that's kind of where I was, uh, you know, planning to uh, to have my business of um, horse breeding. But uh, yeah, I just want to see that it's still there. You know, last time All right. a friend of mine, uh, well, he kind of set the place on fire. Oh, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's by okay. You know? or... Oh yeah, yeah, no, completely oh, by accident. Okay. He was, uh, I, I think he was just, uh, you know, messing around, and he bumped into an oil lamp, and then uh, the yeah, oil lamp, like, yeah, it, it uh, started a fire, and um, then he catch on fire when he is trying to put it out, and actually three of us actually had to pee on him to uh, to put him out. It, uh, it was kind of funny, but. Uh, uh, it ruined okay. his suit, actually. He, uh, he oh, had to buy yeah, another suit. Between the uh, <laughs> scorching and the pee, I'm guessing I would want to trade out my clothes. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, yeah, sure he, every every time he uh, he come by, he kind of smell a little bit, you know, stronger of the the pee until one <laughs> of us eventually said to him, "I think you need to buy the same clothes, but just buy some new ones because uh, this this outfit that you you're wearing, you you definitely smelling of the pee right now." Yeah. But uh, oh, it's yeah. good to be to let him know. He probably couldn't tell anymore. After you get used to a smell, it starts to fade in the background. So yeah, exactly, exactly. 
Well, if you don't mind company, I like going exploring, so I'd be happy to ride out with you to the ranch. I just need a, a minute to go use uh, answer nature's call around back. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, no problem. I will. Uh, we'll go by uh, the cool. oil field as well, so I can just drop off the delivery as well that yep. uh, Miss Valentine gave to me. Okay, sounds good. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go All use right. the uh, outhouse here. I'll be at the front. if we can lean can, oh, no not gonna be able to do it there because that's a fall off the edge of that <laughs> thing there we go Let's see if we can do it here um, let's lean up against the wall here there we go it's pretty good pretty good positioning right there Miguel's back in town baby <laughs> But yeah, the um, I'm interested to find the gold panning spots because um, I know, like, out of character, I know there's a few places. Um, it did used to be. Where was it? See, I'm pr I was pretty sure it was like along there, like just south of Bacchus um, or Bacchus Station. Um, it was on this side of the river though anyway I know like it was along here somewhere um it might have been on this part here or here um but yeah we um we found it totally by chance with doobie um on that little trip um and I'm pretty sure that the other rivers as well like the creek here and Owengila and upper Montana River and lower Montana River also have um, spots in them, um, but I don't know where. I don't know where they are. If you see what I mean, so it might be worth just like yeah, going along there and um, and finding them. And we'll go over to the uh, we'll go over to the ranch as well, which is over here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, there. Um, but that's like the place that Miguel's had his eye on for like a while, um, to call his own kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it's obviously um, he's been on hiatus for a while, so we've not really had a chance to do a lot of stuff. <clears throat> um, and I know that they've they've changed some of the mechanics and stuff in the uh, in the server as well. <sighs> Damn, that's some good orange juice. I'm terrible with them. Um, when I, whenever I buy juice, I tend to just like drink it <laughs> really fast. I was kind of I was kind of impressed with myself earlier, because so I I realised that I've got um I've got some orange juice um or had some orange juice in the freezer um that I'd frozen when I bought it um and I was thinking of ways to try and make my fan like blow out colder air. Um, because at the moment, like it's it's quite hot here in the UK, um, and um, even though I've had my curtains closed and my window closed for most of the day, um, and the fan going, um, it's just blowing hot air around my room. Um, I was speaking to Gamaloni yesterday when she was um, she was streaming a, a little bit earlier on yesterday, and um, she was saying, "Oh, you should get um, you should use a wash towel or something like that, or washcloth." Um, dampen it and then put that over the front of the um, the fan um, or like use some ice in a bucket or something in front of the fan um, so that it blows like the cold air off of the ice if you see what I mean around the room instead um, and I thought like I haven't got any ice I don't have like a bucket big enough for for all that kind of stuff um, so yeah we're kind of we're kind of restricted in what we can do Back. there I'm gonna head over and get my horse out of the stables all right no problem Damn it. 
is where his horse spawns on top of us. Oh, he's got a gold turf one. Nice. Ah, we're, yeah, there we go. That's my favoured, favoured spot. All right, well, uh, let's go to the uh, the oil field first, and then uh, we can uh, go from there over to the uh, over to the, uh, the the ranch stable kind of place. Sounds good. You uh, you have the gold turcom on there, like my friend uh, Mr. Choppins used to have. Yeah, my uh, first day in the state, uh, a man named Mr. Jasper Duncan uh, said I needed a better horse, and so he took me to Emerald Ranch, and he and uh, I've been around horses my whole life on the farm, but we just had plow horses. Yeah, we, yeah. You know, we, we rode them when we needed to, but they weren't uh, these fine, fast steeds like they have around here. So um, I asked him what he recommended, and he said I should get a Turkoman, but don't get the gold one because they look like they're dipped in piss. So All I, right. I, so I immediately bought a gold one just to make him mad. So. <laughs> I see what you mean. That's, a, that's a funny. I'm kind of, uh, I think, uh, somebody that knows a lot more words than I do called me a nonconformist. All oh, right, uh, don't, uh, don't know what this means. Oh, shit! Where are you going this day? Well, uh, that's one way to get down there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he, that was He quick. did okay, but, uh, I was, I was thinking I was going to fall off for a moment there. Good boy this day, yeah. well done. Yes, that was a, that was an impressive landing. No, it just means that uh, I often find <laughs> that I like things that many other people don't like, and that I often don't like the things that many people do like. Yeah, yeah. It's funny, again, uh, I haven't seen Mr. Choppins for a little while. Yeah, no comment. I'm sure he's fine, you know, he... Uh, yeah, not at all last, nervous. Last time I saw him was, uh, he was with uh, an Italian lady. Oh, it wasn't Miss Rosa, was it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh. Okay. Okay, uh, I think we can actually go. If we go along the railway line here a little bit, and then we can kind of turn off over to the, uh, the east somewhere here. Yep, we finally uh, hit on somebody that both of us know. I do know Miss Rosa. Don't yeah. call her Italian, though. She's Sicilian. Yeah, yeah, she uh, she told me this one time before. Uh, but she, you know, she pretty, uh, she seem okay, really, you know, most of the time. Yep, most of the time, I absolutely agree. He does have a fiery temper at times, though. Yeah, and people say that about uh, Argentinian people also, you know, a lot of uh, people sort of say this about, uh, I suppose uh, they, they call it like Latin countries, you know? I see. Oh, oh look bison. at this. I don't normally see bison over here this often. Do we uh, maybe want to hunt them? Uh, I, do, I don't hunt bison. You, Actually, you can if uh, you want, but... I no, I in... think, yeah, I don't think Go I on. want to, because uh, I used to know a guy, uh, uh, one of the native, and he said, uh, you know, you don't kill the bison, he, his name is Little Bison, um, and he seemed like, a, oh. you know, a nice person. I, I tried to respect all the, the, the native people have to say. Um, I think I have sad news for you about Little Bison. Oh, shit, no, don't tell me. Okay. Is he... he die? Um, if I understand it correctly, he challenged a grizzly bear with a knife. Oh no. Oh man, that's uh, that's uh, that's really too bad. He was a yeah, nice, I, uh, nice man. Yeah, I think he had had... Um, 
sorry. Freyer is he's either go or stop. He doesn't run in between very much. Yeah, um, uh, you can uh, you can kind of like get to a certain speed and then just keep like uh, giving him a little kick like that every now and then. Uh, don't stare into me, you idiot. What is your problem? Yeah, I think Little Bison had had problems with the tribe. And All then right. also, I think Lady problems too. Yeah, yeah. That can, uh, that can happen. My friend uh, Callahan, sometime he have Lady problem with, uh, with Miss Snyder. I think maybe that's where uh, where he where he go. You know, he uh, he's kind of like uh, a little bit like a bounty hunter in some way. And uh, she was uh, she was one of the people he he had to bring in this time. And um, I think they kind of you know they fall for each other. They fall in love. So he's never he never took her in. I think you know to. Uh, to the, the, the deputy or this kind of thing. Right, I understand. But yeah, they're uh, they're good people. But uh, she liked to run away every now and then to keep him uh, keep him on his feet. Uh, yeah, I understand. Yeah, so this is the the stable I wanted to uh, to try and buy one day. I did not know there was a stable here. Yeah, this guy always uh, hanging around here. Oh, they look like they replaced the boards. These, uh, this right here was where uh, my friend uh, Mr. Choppins, he uh, he knocked the lantern over. Oh yeah, the one on the barrel there. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, it burned uh, all of these, you know, all of this here right here. It was really badly burned. Now, come on, this deal. Stop, uh, stop doing this. You're, you're getting, you're getting mad. Why are you getting mad? Now? Come on, come on, come on. I think I got Freyer too close to him after you were off him. This is a real nice place and a really good location. Yeah, it's, it's good because you're really close to Rhodes and to Emerald Ranch and you're not far from Saint Denis, you know, if people want to uh, have a really good uh, horse bread for them and then I can yep. uh, ride it over to Saint Denis for them. And it wasn't a bad ride from Valentine either. I mean, we could have gotten yeah. here faster not going to the oil. I mean, the oil field wasn't too far out of the way, but it, it, yeah, it's a pretty quick trip from all three. Yeah, exactly. And he's got, uh, you know, quite a lot of stable as well inside. Like, uh, check this out over here. Have you met Miss Ada Lockwood? Uh, no, I don't, uh, I don't believe so. She's a farrier and... Uh, Seems real skilled at it. Um, I don't know if you you probably know how to take care of that yourself too, but no, I don't. I uh, don't really do the uh, the shoeing of the horses myself, actually. Okay. I can, well, I, I usually can, um... uh, find a blacksmith to do this, but uh... yeah, I sometimes see a blacksmith in Valentine, but it's boy, it's been weeks since he's been set up his shop. Miss Lockwood's running for. Uh, State representative, so she hasn't been doing her farrier stuff as much oh, lately right. either. But, but I'm assuming she'll still be doing some of that, even if she gets elected. But we'll have I to think see, I, I, guess. Uh, I think I might need to go and vote then as well because uh, yeah, I need uh, I haven't done that yet. I, oh, yeah. I voted uh, like uh, maybe uh, a few months ago for uh, for some people. I can't remember even who I voted for then actually, but. Uh, if, yeah, I think somebody uh, I said the election last elections were again. four months ago, I think they said. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, it might might it might have been this one there that I, that I vote for. This uh, barn has good bones. It's uh, yeah. structurally looks really sound. Yeah, it's pretty good. And, uh, you know, have uh, a lot of space as well for, uh, you know, horses to... Uh, to stay inside here and when it get too hot. Right. Howdy, sir. And then, yeah, there's uh, this space out here, you know, for uh, 
somebody who's a little bit better at the, doing the uh, the kind of uh, you know the blacksmithing and this this kind of thing. Oh, why am I getting up here? But yeah, it's a nice uh, nice place, I think. I agree. So I have several friends that have basically just staked claims because the state government seems to never be making uh, formal progress on deeds of ownership. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, uh, my friends Jasper and Marty, Jasper's the one that was telling me not to buy the piss-colored uh, turcoman. Uh, they just basically started <laughs> living in a house not too far from here that has some cattle and they basically just kind of staked their claim and nobody said otherwise that would be my recommendation is i mean i think it's a good idea to stack some money away because someday down the road there is you know anything else the government will figure out a way to charge you for the land but yeah but in, until then i i don't i don't think you'd get in trouble if you just wanted to you know hang your hang your hat as the locals say here yeah i mean uh, i used to leave uh notes kind of outside uh, on the wall there to say yeah. you know uh miguel sanchez uh horse breeding and uh you know ranching here and uh you know advertising for people to uh, to make contact if they uh if they need a service of, of some sort, I, I train people's horses as well. You know, sometimes they have the, the horses who like to kick people a lot. Like, well, actually, they stay on my horse, kind of kick people a lot. But uh, I don't talk about that. He, he's, a, he's a stallion, so he's kind of forgivable yeah. like that. But uh, yeah, most of the time, you know, I, I can tell people how to look after their horse a little bit better and uh, that, that kind of thing, really. So Well, train me. <clears throat> Well, I mean, what uh, what do you need to know? You are what what uh, what sort of thing is uh, your horse doing bad? If you see what I mean. Well, the main thing that he does is so I named him specifically after the uh, so my family was originally from Norway. Right. <clears throat> now I I was born here in the United States up in the Dakota territories, but um, but they were my parents were born in Norway and came as young teenagers. Uh, uh, over to the United States. And um, so anyway, I know some of the Norse um, mythology and traditions. And so um, after I hung around uh, Freyr for a little bit, I noticed that he tries to uh, breed everything that moves, horse or not. He's just a uh, very uh, fertile uh, fellow. So I named him after the, Nor the Norse god of fertility, Freyr. Oh, right. Okay. So he... He tries to get up on top of uh, animals, rocks, trees, uh, pretty much anything he can mount, he tries to mount it. That would be the biggest problem I have with him. He's, I mean, like any horse, if he's agitated enough, he'll kick, but he doesn't seem particularly prone to do that. But uh, the trying to hump every other horse, whether it's a stallion or a mare or a gelding or a stud or whatever, uh, he he's over there uh, trying to get uh, frisky with them, so... Uh, maybe uh, you. It sounds kind of bad, but if you're not going to uh, use him to breed with, maybe you have to uh, get somebody to, to maybe uh, you know snip uh, snip the balls. Yeah. Do you know a vet? I haven't met a veterinarian yet in these parts because I and I don't I've, know. So um, I've I've done might, a lot uh, of castration in my life, but never to a horse, and I didn't really want to mess it up on such a fine animal. So yeah, and also you know they're they're kind of big. If you uh, if you get it wrong, they're going to kick you pretty hard as well. Indeed. I would think uh, you know you you thought you say about this uh, Ada Lockwood. Uh, she maybe mm. uh, maybe she would be able to uh, to help with that because I I would say that's probably the reason he's got a lot of. Uh, you know, he, he he got a lot of get up and go, and he want to uh, want to give it to something all the time, right? <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, what about yeah. riding? Do you have any? Well, you... if he uh, if he keep like um, going forward when you don't want him to, uh, if you kind of like you know you give him control, control, you know, like you you try and give him a little bit of uh, you know momentum going the other way. 
um, sometimes it's, it's hard to explain. You know what I mean? But uh, no, I, I think I do. I mean, you, you, I, I've heard uh, when you let them free, you give them their head. You're saying basically take that away a little bit, control it yeah. a little bit more. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, I think uh, I think I understand. What uh, What about uh, this? Is silly, but it is impressive when I see people do it. Do you know how to train people to rear up on their their horses up on their hind legs? Yeah, you you need to give them uh, again, like it, it need a uh, control, and um, you try and ask him to jump, but uh, a controlled jump, you know. Ah, yes, uh, that makes sense. Uh, I, but that, uh, because I was thinking, I think it must, sometimes it, it, they don't like to do it. But um, let me well, see if we can do that. it. Let's uh, let's go on. Okay. Up. Yeah, I was thinking that it was probably a combination of of commands. Yeah, so that yeah. makes sense that it would be because you're asking them to kind of do two things at once, hold in place, but also um, uh, lift up. So, yeah, exactly. Let's see if this will actually work. Don't seem. Uh, he doesn't seem to want to do it, but uh, oh, I'm too close. Sorry. Uh, can't remember how you do it on. I'm sure, it was like. I can see him bunching up in his hindquarters, but he's not wanting to go. Ah, there we go. Yeah, you, uh, you kind of have to, uh, ah, uh, there's no easy way to say it, really. It's kind of, um, like, uh, you give him the command to rear. You know uh, how how sometimes uh, you can uh, uh, like that like this kind of thing, but uh, <laughs> maybe it's about the timing of the commands. If the uh, oh no you... no is uh is something you uh, you kind of have to uh, to think about you know like uh, as if uh, I was maybe uh, like like this kind of hold on. Aha! There we go. Yeah, you you have it now. I, yep, I completely understand now. Yeah, the the uh, the way I tell you before was uh, the the right way to do it, if you see what I mean there. But uh, uh, yeah. yes, I understand. Things change over time. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe uh, the uh, the horses, uh, you know, uh, you can just kind of think about doing it, and uh, they will do it like that. <laughs> Indeed. Well, that that seems way easier than getting the timing perfect on. Uh... The jump and the and the back command at the same time. So yeah, yeah. And like, uh, well, if ever you are finding, you know, sometimes your uh, your horse go uh, forwards into, uh, you know, like climbing up the stairs or that kind of thing outside of the yeah. uh, the general store. There, sometime yep. uh, you I can get up kind on the of bank uh, steps every once in a while by accident. Yeah, you can kind of give it like a little bit of, you know, like this, and then you can turn away. Okay, excellent. Oh, interesting. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, a little bit of horsemanship to learn there.
So when I see the racers going, they talk about how they have to manage their stamina. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they have to manage the horse's stamina, obviously. not. Well, I suppose they have to make sure they're not too tired, too. But mainly, I think they're talking about the horses. Do you have any general... Um, like, is if you can tell your horse is really flagging, do you... When you, you know, when you think he's like, I don't know, three quarters tired, is that when it's best to let him rest? Or do you run him right up until he's almost ready to I mean, get uh, mad at you and then let off? I would, I would kind of keep uh, some in reserve, if you see what I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, yeah, I've never really sense. done races in, in that sense. Well, but uh, Yeah, uh, I don't care about the races. I won't ever do races. I was just, I was, but yeah, because if you're, I have uh, been to a race, I, that's what made me uh, hear about the, the whole idea anyway yeah if you're not going to try and uh, go as fast as you can the whole time uh, you can um, kind of uh, like as you're going along you know you get up to like a good uh, a good canter or a gallop and you kind of um, you know keep giving him a little shift every now and then and you kind of keep the same pace the whole time there yep so shift forward a little bit just give him a and give him a little kick yeah yeah and then let back off again. That makes yeah, sense. So that probably uh, you're not you like keep up a, you're not yeah, keeping you, it on him. You know, like you're you're doing it. Maybe with every kind of like, once he go through his step, you know, each time you there there do like buddha dum like with the with the hoof. Yep. Um. When it when you have that, and then you do it again, and then wait and do it again. Oh, okay. I see. So yeah, that you're, makes sense. You're you kind can keep of, a uh, good steady pace without yeah. um, bl blowing him up. So yeah, exactly. In fact, while you're going along like that, you're not really using their stamina. They don't. Uh, they don't really notice it. You know what I mean? Uh, I see. I suppose if you can time it, it's almost just like a uh, you're you're working with them instead of against them. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Well, excellent. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, no What's problem. What's the uh, fee for training? Oh, don't worry about it, my friend. Don't worry. No, you want to be a trainer. Your time is valuable. What uh, would well, be forty dollars enough? Why? Why? Way too much. Way too much. Uh, maybe twenty dollars is fine. Don't worry about it. You know. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You're too kind, Adbar. Uh, you're very welcome. Consider the ten, extra ten a tip. So for uh, oh, I right. appreciate, I appreciate people's skill and people that are willing to take time to share their uh, knowledge. So yeah, no problem, no problem, my friend. Well, uh, what uh, what should we do? Maybe we can go. Uh, you think uh, it's worth going into? Uh, the, to like where the rivers are, maybe we could uh, have a little look for uh, the pan, the panning spot. Absolutely, we should do that. All if right, you have a, uh, a good place to start looking, uh, let's go there first because I have no idea where to start. Yeah, I mean, uh, other than I would go where you told me to go, but you know that spot, so. Uh, let's see if we can't find it. It's one of the few things I've been curious about uh, learning how to pan, and I, it's one of the few. I've been fishing now, and coal mining, and pig farming, and hunting, and farming, yeah. and, but I have not been panning for gold yet, so. Well, let's, uh, let's go back to, uh, to Valentine. I'll put the, uh, the money as well in the, in the bank, and then uh, we'll, okay. we'll see if we can't find uh, the place along the, the Dakota River to uh, find where, the, uh, where the gold is. Okay, excellent. Sounds good. All right, let's uh, let's go back this way. I really like your uh, your location. I think this is a great idea. Yeah, it's uh, you know a place I spotted a long time ago, and I felt like uh, it would be good. Uh, me and uh, that lady I was telling you about, Miss Snyder, both want to uh, breed horses, so uh, you know I was kind of suggesting this might be the location I uh, I would have for myself. And then, you know, uh, she was thinking maybe, uh, I think of another uh, ranch a little further down there. Um, you know where Thief Landing is? The Landing of the Thief? Uh, I know where it is, yes. 
I don't know the area real well, but I've been through there at least once now. I was helping uh, farm, or not farm, I was helping hunt for some uh, boar the other day. And I noticed that the boar seemed to do well where the grasslands meet the swamps, so. Yeah, and, yeah, they're in there, uh, they like it around there. Right, and so I noticed the other day when I was down there, somebody had uh, given, or not given me, sold me a uh, thought off shotgun from there a while back, and they had told me about the place, but I didn't actually get down there until much later. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, the the man there, he uh, he also, um, if ever you are, uh, you know, someone give you uh, money that is dirty, you can uh, you can get him to clean it there for you. Ah, uh, I see. I I heard there's another fellow up in the up in the snow that does that too. Yeah, the man in uh, in Coulter, uh, yeah, he he do that also. You see what I mean about uh, you know every now and then you just give it a little uh, shift on again. I do. And you kind of you keep that same speed. I think uh, this is the way you know to get uh, if you're running low with the stamina for you or if you're, the horse is you're not not coping too well you can go to this kind of pace again and then you know they get a little bit of a second wind again and you can you know give them more again afterward this is yeah this would have been helpful yesterday to know this because i was uh, a friend of mine miss lana i well actually she's one of the people i told you to look out for in valentine uh she got hurt pretty bad by a grizzly bear oh no and and I had to borrow a local horse because we were in a carriage. So what are you doing, idiot? Sorry, man. This this guy tried to uh, tried to get right in front of me there. Yeah, Fucking idiot. he zigged when I thought he was gonna zag, and he almost became one there. Anyway, we had get we had gotten a ride on a carriage, and for some reason we couldn't get Miss Lana into the carriage after she was hurt. So I had to go borrow a local horse and unfortunately the one that I borrowed wasn't a very good horse and he was already real tired oh no and, right and the whole way back with Miss Lana behind me when I'm trying to go as fast as possible he was just super angry at me so yeah yeah I think you know you just don't let it get all the way uh, like you say oh, you don't want to exhaust them completely because then like right. they, they don't want to go anywhere then Yep, a and lot, I, I think it take them a little lo longer to uh, to be able to uh, get back to being able to run again. Right. So I was letting him cool down for quite a ways, and then trying to go full out again. And I think your your uh, recommendation is a smarter way about it. I think it would have worked better. Yeah. I mean, uh, you can go like you know, you can go full the, for a long time, and then like go to that kind of uh, pace. And uh, yeah, I think that probably is how, you know, people do the racing. Alright, I'm just going to uh, put the money in the bank Hello. quickly. Okay. Miguel, is there a is there a best food for the horses? Uh, I always used to feed them uh, hay, but I'm not sure. Uh, if I you mean, can for get like a food. treat. Uh, uh, yeah, so like I give uh, Freyer carrots, and he seems to love them. But I didn't know if I if I should be giving him apples or something else instead. Do you know? Uh, apples may be quite good. Uh, I always used to try and find uh, wild carrots, but uh, I haven't been able to pick any for a long time. You know, I'm not able to find okay. them in the wild anymore. But um, well, they do I have carrots say, uh, at the general store, but um, they're not the wild ones, obviously. So yeah, yeah, but uh, I think they they do like the wild carrot quite a bit. All right, let's pop in the uh, the monies. Eighty-five dollars. Oh, 885, I wish. <laughs> All 
Right, let me uh, just have a think about where it was that... Uh, I mean, we can go down to the uh, the river, actually, and maybe we just go uh, we go up the, the coast of the river there and see if we can't find it. Usually yep, they so. uh, they have like a little wooden kind of um, board and that kind of thing there. You have a... Yeah. You, ha you have a gold pan already, in case uh, there I is do. one there? I do have All one. Alright, okay. Okay, let's uh, let's have a little uh, look around then, I suppose. Okay. So uh, maybe it's best if we go there. Is a there's like a fishing spot, kind of uh, out of yep. uh, town this way. And I remember we like we kind of went from there like up the river. And uh, I think if we go that way, maybe I can remember where uh, where it was. You know that we uh, we find the the place uh, to uh, to pan for gold there. Okay, sounds good. Usually the fishing spots, there's an easy path down, so... Oh yeah, yeah, we can, I think we can go this way. I remember this uh, this fishing spot here. There was, uh, I'm pretty sure one time actually I did also see uh, on the bank over the other side as well there was uh, there was maybe one over there. Maybe we check over there as well. Somebody said it looks kind of like a small cart. Is, is that how you remember it? Yeah, yeah, like a cart uh, without no wheels. Okay. Oh, I see it. I'm assuming that's it. Uh... So is this one of those? That, are you seeing it? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, don't see it. I see. Uh, yeah, I had this. My eyes were acting up the other night, and there was a campfire that I could see, and the other people couldn't see. So maybe I'm just uh, blessed or cursed, but I'm seeing one right here. Yeah, I was pretty sure. Yeah, there, there is a place. Yeah, we can do it right here. Okay, can we both uh, use that at the same time? Oh, it looked like it, yeah. Oh, excellent. All right, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good that we find uh, we find a place like this. Oh, I just find dirt, but let's uh, let's keep trying. Yep. Let's put a little marker right on us so that we know. <laughs> I think one of my um, friends said he kept track because what else what is he gonna do? And he said it was about he thinks on average it was about every eight times he would get something other than dirt. Right. Yeah, I got a little bit more dirt there, but uh, keep uh, keep trying it. I guess is a good idea. Ah, I found a nugget. 
Nice. Congratulations. Nice. <laughs> so, if so, you yeah, don't I mind me asking, uh, go on. I've I've heard that Argentina is very beautiful. Um, did you have did you come here because of the troubles, or was there some other reason? Oh, I found two there. This uh, this seemed to be a good spot right here. Yeah, you're uh, taking all my gold. I see how it is. <laughs> a little bit further up the river from you there. Uh, well, I kind of I, I leave Argentina because um, well my my father and my uncle wanted to take over uh, the ranch. You know, it was a family ranch, and they uh, they were sort of saying you know uh, that. You know, because in Argentina, age, you know, you take precedent over anything else, and they needed, uh, they needed a bit better money, you know, to uh, to keep themselves going. So, uh, because I was, you know, a lot younger than them, I I kind of uh, say to them, you know, I'd heard about uh, America and, you know, the the whole land rush and everything like this. Uh, and that there was gold and these kinds of things that you know people were making money and being able to have a you know a big beautiful ranch with lots of horses and cows and everything so i uh i decide you know to uh to come up here to uh to try and find land for my own ranch really you know that's that's pretty similar to my story too um my uh there was a famine in norway when my uh parents were young children and uh, they heard about the land opportunities in America and so they came here and then um, they had way too many children and it was pretty clear to me that the farm wasn't big enough to support all of the children and all of their spouses and their children and so I decided uh, it was just me uh, I could strike out on my own and, and make my own way somewhere else and so I I came down here yeah it's good uh, you know like making a making a place for yourself you know somewhere you can call your own yeah I agree and I like to go and see new places too so it was a built-in adventure for me so you uh you find any more gold yourself yet? Uh, I haven't gotten any gold. Only dirt. You uh do you have a lucky rabbit foot as well or uh I do. All right, maybe uh I was thinking, you know, maybe it uh, come in handy for this also perhaps. Yeah, I I have heard it. It isn't just crops that it helps with all kinds of things. So I'm surprised there's any rabbits left in the world, if that's true, but I guess they uh, they make new rabbits pretty quickly, so. Yeah, they uh, they tend to breed like, uh, like rabbits, I guess. <laughs> Indeed. Both of us doing exactly the same motion. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this gold pan might actually pay for itself now one day. Yeah, it's been sitting collecting dust in my satchel for a long time. So. Uh, yeah, me too. It'll be nice. It'll be nice to know how to make use of it. Although it's going to take a lot of dirt to pay for the pan. Oh yeah, definitely. Don't know uh, if they if they pay anything for uh, for dirt. Uh, not that I know of. <laughs> I can hear somebody uh, riding pretty fast up there. Well, we're not that far from, um, is it Wallace here? Yeah, maybe they're going to do a delivery, right? Listen uh, for the wolves in a moment. Uh, yeah. Huh. 
How about you? You just got the two so far, or even more? No, I only had the uh, only had the two there. Well, two more than me, so. I wonder if uh, maybe uh, you know it it go further up the river or you know better places further up. Maybe I'm not sure. Yeah, I I guess I'm not sure either. I thought if be close to this uh, bench would be good, but I could always try a different spot. Hey, you swap with me here. It's like I'm putting it on him. <laughs> so we've learned at least now you can pan for gold. Um, I guess you don't always see the locations and stuff. Because um, that's the only reason we saw um, the location before. Um, was we saw uh, one of these there, there is like a little stand here I know what he's talking about there's like a little sort of wooden kind of construction thing um, I feel like I've I feel like we might have got all of the gold if you see what I mean from this particular area I'm not sure um, Maybe we uh, we can check uh, see if there is another place uh, further up the river because I'm I'm pretty sure you know this uh, this wasn't the only place on the river that uh, you can find this. Okay. Yep. I'm definitely game to see. That way we can make note of the places for future. Yeah, and you never know if we uh, you might find some gold in uh, another location or whatever and. Uh, Maybe it uh, go in different places, you know what I mean? I do. Yeah, I've not found anything more, but uh, just more dirt. Okay, let's try a different spot. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see if the place uh, further up the river that uh, I thought of originally might have it now. So it was on the uh, the same bank, this this side of the river, but um, I think we might want to cross over because there is not really a pathway over here. Maybe we could have uh, we could have probably stayed on this side. Cornelius and I, we came up here, uh, you know, along this side of the river pretty much the whole way, I think, and uh, I'm pretty sure I saw another uh, another spot just like that uh, that one you uh, you see uh, where the where the cart thing was before. I'm not sure Samba's mic might. It's a beautiful area. Oh, there we go. 
Yeah, yeah, a very nice place to uh, to ride here. I've been told some of my friends have taken the canoe down. They go all the way up as far as they can get up into the snow and start and try to see how far they can get down before they break their canoe. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. I wonder if, uh, you know, little places like this, maybe. Let me just get out and see if uh, it can pan for gold here. I think it uh, probably the water is moving too fast here. Yeah, it must be uh, further up, I think. Oh yeah, there's that rickety old bridge that comes out of Valentine on the backside, up over us. Yeah, yeah. Never wanted to go along that. I always kind of think, you know, it's going to give way underneath uh, the weight of me and uh, Desteo. Yes, I don't think you're the only one that feels that way. So I've heard that there's a group called the Vikings um, from Sweden, I think they said. Oh, okay. That has been set up there at the end of the uh, of the rope bridge, um, uh, robbing people. Oh, really? Oh, right. Yeah. I haven't run across the folks, but several other people mentioned that a couple weekends ago they they were uh, they robbed a bunch of people there. So. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's pretty bad. Well. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. You got really nowhere to go if they get you trapped on that bridge. So I guess yeah. from, a, from a robbing standpoint, it's a good spot. Yeah, very true. I'm not sure, maybe uh, let me just have a little look at my map. and We might want to cross onto the other side here. Okay. Yeah, I think we're getting close to where it is. I've got a feeling it might have been Marish. Um. Yeah, I think maybe we uh, maybe we should try and cross over over to the the side over there. I think. Okay. Okay, the still we're going to get wet here. If, uh, maybe around here might be another place. Let's uh, let's just try and, uh, have a little look. See if there is uh, anything to pan here. Maybe uh, the water still is uh, running a little bit too fast, maybe up here. Have you ever fished by hand? Uh, no, I've not, uh, not tried. Where so, are you going, um, Desteo? Some of here. my friends... I have some friends who uh, are from the Wapiti Reservation. And they took me out one night and showed me how to uh, fish for those big giant muskies or um, northern pikes by hand. It was pretty interesting. Oh, really? Don't know why the, uh, the horses seem to be a little bit jumpy around here. They're, it's like they sense something bad. Yeah, I wonder if there's a, uh, 
Uh, what are my, uh, I think they call them murder kitties. Cougars. Oh, right, yeah, the, the cougars, yeah. Come on, karma, Destejo, karma. I'm not familiar with the the name. What does the stale mean? Uh, the mean uh, flash. Ah, okay. Like, um, yeah, it's uh, like, you know, from the thunder, the like uh, the lightning kind of. Uh... Yes, that quick burst of light. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because uh, that's that's kind of what he like, you know, uh, to ride sometimes. He, uh, he very fast. Yeah, I think we uh, we came along here. I think it's not too much further. The other place that I see one of these uh, these cart put out at. I think we have to cross across this uh, other bridge here. It still look like it's running pretty fast around here. I'm not sure. Maybe it have to be uh, a place where the river is not so wide or something. Oh, I think that was Mr. Shadow. When, uh, Mr. Shadow, you say? I think that was Mr. Shadow. Yes, he's uh, oh, right. from the Wapiti. I don't think I meet this person before. You should. He's uh, one of oh, the nicest people the you're likely to ever meet. What, are you getting really mad about this small little drop right here? Yeah, I feel like it was maybe uh, over the water over here somewhere, maybe. I'm not sure. It does seem to calm out over there to our right. Yeah, yeah. I feel like um, it's kind of like a um, long memory ago, but uh, is that uh, him? He crossed back over there. Yep, think so. Does that look like a shire to you? Um, it's a big horse, but I'm not sure yeah, if I it's think a shire. So. Pretty sure that's. Uh, I think he. Mm, his favorite horse, Thunder, got killed a while ago. So I think that might be lightning. All right, he uh, he have a horse. Uh, the the name for uh, thunder in my uh, language is, is uh, Trueno. Is the name of uh, the horse I had before uh, this one. I wonder if uh, maybe it is. Uh, it must. It still must be a little bit further along here. I'm sure there. There was another place. <clears throat> just uh, got a bad memory, you know, just can't really remember it all. Well, this is a long river, and uh, so I don't know that it necessarily means a bad memory. Yeah, it, it's the problem is because it kind of looked the same, right? Yeah, it just switches back and forth. It looks very similar. wonder if it maybe is down below us there somewhere because it kind of look a little bit um, more calm down there but well maybe not actually some of it look a little bit less calm now I 
yeah, I find it kind of like feel like it might have been around here, but uh... Well, I've never done this ride and it's beautiful, so I don't care if it takes us a while Yeah, yeah, me too Yeah, maybe it uh, maybe it up to that bridge even I'm not sure I feel like uh, we we stayed on this side of the river for a lot of this part of the journey. Yeah, I'm can't. I really, honestly, can't remember where this. Um, wow, that bridge this looks thing a lot is. more impressive from down here than it does when you ride across it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, in my eyes, we have another panning place. Oh right, yeah, Sorry. must be the uh, must be the place here then. Maybe it's two stallions so close to each other. They seem to be wrestled up, or they seem to be a little riled up today. Yeah, yeah, could be. Yeah, I think this is the place that uh, that it was, you know, before. Oh yeah, right here. Hopefully he finds some gold this time. <laughs> Reaching right through his head almost. <laughs> This looks like um, the next spot, if you see what I mean, that we found. So we'll put a little marker there so we remember where it was. You uh, managed to find anything yet? Not yet. I'm pretty patient though. I don't mind so much if it takes a while. I think all farmers, at least anyone that's done it for a while, has to become pretty patient. Yeah, definitely. I did think I heard a bear though, <clears throat> but it sounded like they were Maybe echoing through the canyon, not real close. Yeah, probably right. I thought they uh, the same thing actually when me and uh, Cornelius came up this way. I think maybe uh, there must be places like this along, you know, every river maybe. Like where it's uh, kind of quiet <clears throat> or waters like this. Yeah, it could be. I haven't. I don't know that many people that have uh, had the patience to do this very much, so I haven't had a lot of people tell me. But it makes sense that if there's uh, gold in in the rock formations around here, then pretty much any river that cuts through them, you'd think would uh, slowly pull some out. Yeah, yeah, probably. Looking at my phone quickly there because I saw it flashing away. I think it just needs to go on charge. <laughs> my um, my fan has basically melted that um, orange juice <laughs> I was talking about earlier on. I put uh, some frozen orange juice 
um, in front of my um, in front of my fan, and it's uh, <laughs> it's kind of um, it's kind of defrosted it now, pretty much. Did any of uh, the rest of your family come to the Americas or North America? No, no. Uh, my uh, my uncle and my father both uh, both stayed in Argentina. My mother has not been around for a long time, unfortunately. She uh, she died when I was about uh, six years old, I think. Uh, sorry to hear that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That's a fairly common story in these parts also, I've noticed. I'm one of the few people that I've... Well, I guess I didn't meet myself, but out of the many people that I've met since coming here, the number that actually still have living parents is pretty small. Yeah, I mean, I hope... Uh, I hope my father is still okay in Argentina, but uh, it's hard to uh, to communicate to him, you know. Yeah, understand. <laughs> so we're reaching into Maybe his head somebody, to find it. Somebody said that they put one of those uh, newfangled uh, telephones into Blackwater now. Oh, right. <clears throat> I've yeah. never used one or seen one in person, but they said that I guess one of the saloons or one of the hotels there maybe has one, so... Maybe oh, someday okay. the telegram system or even maybe the telephones will help with that. Be a little bit easier to keep in touch with people. I haven't, uh... I send a letter every now and then to the Dakotas, but... Uh, even there, being part of the States, it's pretty few and far between that I hear word back, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a beautiful spot here anyway, you I, know. Uh... I just got three gold nuggets. All oh, right, beautiful. I was hoping we'd get at least uh, get one find anyway before we <laughs> gave up for the day but I yeah. wouldn't have cared if I hadn't but I thought it would be kind of nice so so yay for that I like that give me some gold come on damn I was enjoying <laughs> that rainbow back um, underneath the bridge in my eyes anyway from the from the spray off of the waterfall I think it's like it's a yeah. permanent rainbow over there yeah I was looking at that too actually there's a beautiful spot it's amazing how calm the water is in this little um, area with how thunderous it is right above and right below yeah, it's like a little spot of uh, yeah calm in a otherwise uh, chaotic uh, river. Oh, fish jumping behind me. So, uh, the, how do you uh, do you fish by hand? Then you were you were saying about the oh the, well, the native. I think it, yeah, I think it'd be easiest to show you uh, when we're done. When we've had our fill of uh, panning here, um, on our way back, there's a place that they took me to. I think you can do it other places also, but I figured if I was going to show somebody else, I should take them to a place I know that there's a chance anyway. Um, on your map, if you look, there's a place called Cattail Pond, not too far from Valentine. Uh, Cattail Pond. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see it, yeah. Like, yeah, I guess it's not really on the way back, but anyway, not too far from Valentine anyway. Uh, so it's a very still lake, and some of the fish get pretty large in there. And you basically just quietly wander your way through the shallows of the water looking for the big muskies and northern pike that sun themselves. And you basically just chase them up to the point where they beach themselves, and then you pick them up. Oh, right. I see what you mean. And I guess, uh, according to Miss Eatsley, um, who I think she said she's Inuit, 
originally from um, Alaska, way up in the northwest. Um, she also gets them um, at the frozen lake way up in the mountains. Uh, they'll sometimes uh, accidentally jump out of the cracks in the ice and they land on the, on the ice and then they die because obviously they're not in the water anymore. And if you find them in time before a, a cougar gets them or a bear or something else, then you, you basically get a free ice preserved uh, giant fish that you can eat or bring to town to trade or whatever. All right, that sounds uh, like a good way of uh, yeah getting uh, getting the fish without having to uh, to put in too much effort, right? Well, yeah. The only problem is, is I'm pretty sure it takes a lot of effort to get to that part of the state. So, so I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah. In the end, it might be better to uh, catch a bunch of small bass with a fishing pole. So. But uh, I just want to go up with her. She told me she'd take me. She said there's a glacier um, way up, way up north, and I haven't been there yet. And she said she'd take me someday. So. Where I'm from in the Dakotas, the glaciers did a good job. They flattened the land so flat that you can see f as far as you can see in every direction. Yeah. But there aren't any still around in that part of the world, so I've never seen a glacier in myself, at least not uh, up close. Oh, there is uh, somebody there. How are you? Howdy, sir. Oh, hi, Crow. How, How are you, you today? I'm doing quite go. well. Uh -huh. uh, Miguel here wanted to show me where I could go gold panning. I had never been before. There's a few places, yes. Yeah, we stopped at one we other place farther down the river and <laughs> closer. Um, and we've just been riding along looking to see where where you can do it at. So All the other ones, I see. You get lucky. Uh, uh, one not... time for me and uh, you once, I think, as well, maybe. I can't remember. Yeah, not mm. particularly lucky, but not too bad. I was just mainly I was um, I'm amazed. I've never done this ride all the way this far. It's really beautiful. Uh -huh. Especially um, sunset going uh, south because the oh. sun will shine through. Oh, yeah. I suppose it lines up with one of the the valleys. Yes. They uh, there was a really nice. Uh, like a rainbow, how you call it, right over here when the sun was still out? Yes. Oh, yes, from like the spray from the, the waterfall. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Uh, Michikankwe, this is Miguel, mm -hmm. Miguel, the Michikankwe. I think, uh -huh. did we meet the other day when I came up with, uh, there was a lady, we were trying to find her, uh, her mother, uh, like find out about her, um, her mother's um, heritage. She's uh, she's the daughter of a native lady. Yes. Yeah, I remember you now. Elizabeth, I think. Ah, uh, yes, I think that was uh, her her mother's name, and uh, yeah, she was uh, Effie. Um, I think uh, her name in it's you know she she preferred to be called, but uh, yeah, she uh, she a nice person. Uh huh. I had no problems with her. Yeah, yeah. Did was it you that we just saw riding back and forth across the river a little bit farther south, or was that I thought it was Mr. Shadow? No, no, that was me. Yeah. Oh, okay. I come, uh, back I thought from the, plains. I see. I thought the horse looked bigger from afar. I thought it was his trier. So. No, no, Nakota. Yep, must have just been the distance. So. Yeah, it's a beautiful horse. Yes, I uh, took uh, a compliment because Shadow is very huge. So you think I'm huge? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Better than being tiny like I am. Okay. I didn't want to disturb you. Just uh, oh, to say hello. I appreciate uh, no it. No problem. Yeah. Uh -huh. We are uh, just uh, looking to see if we can find any uh, any little nuggets of gold or something like that to uh, to have a little bit of luck, like you say. Yes, this is the farthest noise north gold pan in the Dakota River. This one, you and 
on now. Oh right. Oh. Okay. So there is maybe further south as well then, because we found we found one near to there's a little like fishing spot co- close to Valentine. We mm-hmm. found one over there, but uh, I don't know if there is any others. This is the uh, we only know of this place and the, that one further down now. Yes, I know of maybe three on this river uh, oh, south right. of here. Okay, well, yeah, There's, we must have uh, walked past some, maybe. I'm not yeah. sure. Sometimes uh, the stand is not uh, set up. You must find it uh, by walking the shoreline. Yeah. We did, we did try to do that a few spots, but the places that we thought looked um, like good opportunities, though I think the water was moving a little too fast. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's one uh, directly north of Valentine. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, mm, maybe, yeah, maybe we were on we, the wrong uh, side. Might have been, yeah, like you say, on the wrong side of the river there. Yeah, yeah. It's more safe, I think, because you can just head back uh, to Valentine. People sometimes, uh, they'll set up on uh, like a cliff over there and uh, wait for you so to be here for some time. And then they'll wrap Like straight north of Valentine, it might be. Uh, I see. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it's going to uh, be one of these spots here. I often try to keep an eye out here on the cliffs to see if these people do this. But I can't be around all the time. No, indeed. Well, thank you yeah. for the information. We'll try to be careful. Uh, Absolutely. Well, I will uh, leave you in peace. I'm not bothering you. You're not uh, bothering no us, problem. but... Uh, yeah, no problem at all. But uh, uh, travel safe. Uh-huh. Yeah, take care again, Crow. Yeah, yeah. you as well. Oh, sorry. Uh, no problem, no problem. You want to uh, keep trying here for a little bit longer? Uh, we're here. Why don't we... Why don't we see what the colors are of the sunset while we try a couple more times? Yeah. And then I'm ready. I'm ready anytime. If you're done too, we can go. He was just saying that it's beautiful in the sun, sunrise and sunset, so I thought, well, maybe this will be a good spot. Yeah. I think it's kind of a... Uh... It looked like night to me already, but I'm uh, not sure. I'm thinking we're about to get some colors if we go around the rock over here. All right, yeah, let's have a little look. I, I maybe see the the rays of the uh, is that the moon up there maybe I'm not sure I thought it was still sunset but with all the stars out I'm guessing I lost track of time yeah yeah it do uh, do look like uh, night night has fallen quite fast actually well maybe we uh, try a little longer and uh, we see if uh, then maybe we can find the place you talk about on the other side. Okay. Probably, oh, the sh- uh, probably the shadow of the bridge. Uh, I thought the shadow of the bridge looks interesting there on the face of that cliff. Oh yeah. Yeah, look like uh, someone have carved it into the side of the uh, the rock yeah. right there. Yeah, it does. At first, I was like, "What made the rock so dark there?" And then I realized it was the shadow from the bridge. Yeah. I think we did actually pick up um, a little bit more. Um, in terms of um, gold just now. I think we got three nuggets or something, literally just as he came along. Um, was, not to pry, oh, I but got, was uh, it? Oh, I got two nuggets right there. Oh, congratulations. Was it Miss Ember that was trying to find? Or 
Do you remember the name of the lady that was looking for Miss Elizabeth? Oh no, um, Elizabeth, uh, the name of the uh, the mother of this uh, this girl Effie, who I met uh, a couple of days ago. Did she won okay. She was. We we went up there with the uh, with the cults uh, people. Oh, I see. We wanted uh, there is a lady called Ruby, um, and she wanted to oh. speak to the uh, the native about um, the the horses that they have, and I wanted to speak to them as well because I'm interested, you know, to see how they uh, they get these uh, amazing looking different breeds of horses, and uh, she think that there was a stable or something that they may be breeding uh, near the Wapiti reservation, but they don't take people up there. Hmm. I, I don't know of a stable in the Wapiti. There is one in Big Valley that the Arakoan, uh live near. I mean, it's technically not reservation because it's outside of the Wapiti, but uh, there is a stable up there at the... Hmm, I can't remember the name. There's a ranch in Big Valley that has a stable, and I know people go up there. Um, but I don't know of a stable actually in the Wapiti itself. Uh, there are horses in the Wapiti, but they're all... Uh, wild ranging horses. Yeah, I see. Now, Maybe, that uh, doesn't mean there isn't one, because obviously there could be all kinds of things I don't know about. I haven't been all the way through of the Wapiti, so. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, we meet uh, we meet Crow there and um, a couple of other natives as well. Uh, there was a lady called Willow, I believe, and. Uh, yep. Willow White right, Crow. Uh, yeah. I think the, uh, there is another man called Tahashi as well. Oh, I don't know Tahashi, but yes, sure. There's several of the WPD that I know. Makia, he's their medicine man. Yeah. Mis Mr. Shadow, who is not, um, what? He wasn't born native, but he was, uh, I guess, he, what do they say, a foundling? He grew up in the mountains by himself. And, uh, anyway, he has since gone through the trials and become a member of the Wapiti. Oh, right. I just found three more uh, gold nugget there. Congratulations. Yeah, seemed like a lucky spot around here. Yep, we're certainly doing better than we did at the other spot. Um, Willow is, uh, the partner. Um, I don't know what they call it in their tradition. <clears throat> I don't believe they're married. I don't know if marriage is actually a thing for that tribe or Sorry, not. Uh, I'm just but, getting uh, a bit of water. She's chat. with uh, the chief, uh, Deerhorn. Did you meet him? Uh, no, I don't believe he was there. Actually, they uh, they were saying, you know, if we wanted to speak to uh, somebody about uh, Effie's heritage, then we we would need to speak to him probably. But he was not around. I don't think. Yeah, I understand. So Deerhorn and Willow are both also deputies in the uh, police force in New Alexandria. Yeah, somebody mentioned that actually. And uh, yeah, I didn't. Uh, I, they weren't wearing the hat or anything like that when we saw them. Uh, you know, Willow right. was not anyway, but uh, obviously but she the... not uh, she not on duty like they say. Right. I think that's one of the rules, is that if, if any of the deputies or sheriffs or, or uh, what's the other, detectives I guess they are, if they're not on duty they're supposed to swap to something other than a white hat so that nobody's confused to what capacity they're acting in at the time. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Alright, maybe we, uh, we go, uh, when you've done that pan there, well, maybe we go down to the... Uh, the place that uh, maybe is uh, closer to Valentine and see if we can't find the other place there. Yes, sounds good. Let's do that. Okay, I'm finished up. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, amazed that Crow found us out here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I, I would have, uh, I would have never expected that anybody, unless they were had bad intentions, would uh, find anybody here. So. Yeah. Yeah. But I know that the Wapiti do regularly patrol the borders, and we are pretty close to the reservation, so... Yeah, I think the, uh, the, the, the railway line was kind of like the, uh, 
the the point where they say from that point upward is uh, is their lands. Yes, it's a. I mean, I think it technically is not exactly on the railway line, but that's just a really good reference that everybody can remember, and it's easily distinguishable. So. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, we could go along the the bank of the river here. We should plan a trip and go down the river on the canoe. Yeah, I actually wanted to do, uh, to try and buy a canoe one day. Uh, I I just bought one the other day. That was a uh, that was quite a story. Oh really? Yeah, I guess we've got time. So, um, I was riding along the uh, Flatiron Lake, the big one, to the south. By, uh, oh, near the Blackwater. roads? Ah, yes, yeah, between yeah. roads and Blackwater. And I saw a horse abandoned next to a cabin that has a dock on the end of it that goes out into the water. Right, yeah. I think they call them a jetty, you know, where it sticks out into the water. Oh, so, yeah. So I go there, and uh, I look at the horse, and I was pretty sure that it wasn't... Uh, a common folk or a local horse and uh, it's hard to describe but I just got this feeling that there was something going on oh, other I'd than just cross, sorry. that's okay sorry it yeah. was almost yeah it was almost like somebody made it real obvious if you get my meeting that something had happened there like they almost like they were leaving signs right okay and um, it led me over to the cabin, and I went in there, and the fire was going. And um, it looked like somebody had been there real recently. And then I went out on the dock, and uh, you could tell that there had been a boat there because there was a rope that had been tying up a boat that was still wet but laying up on the dock. Yeah. So I just thought it was... I don't know. I was worried somebody might have gone out in a canoe or something and, and gotten hurt or, or something. So I got my binoculars out and started looking around. And I couldn't see anybody. <laughs> um, so at the time, I didn't have a boat available. And so I, I rode over to Blackwater and I sent a telegram to the, to the sheriff's department just saying that I found this horse and it looked like somebody might have gotten lost or hurt at, on the lake. And then I rented a, uh, a canoe from Blackwater and I paddled all the way back across Flatiron Lake. Oh, right. and, and when I got close to the uh, cabin, I could tell that there was somebody lighting a campfire um, near the cabin and that there was a canoe at the dock. Oh, right. And so I, I ride up there and I see this very small person running away as fast as they possibly can as they see me pulling up in my canoe. And it was getting dark by this point. And so I just yelled out that I, you know, I was just trying to make sure everybody was okay because I found a horse that was unattended. And it was this young lady and uh she seemed oh, very careful there seemed... oh yes thank you so she seemed very frightened and i tried to ask her but she was staying a long way away from me which i understand she was frightened and uh she basically said there was nothing wrong except that i scared her to half to death And uh, that she had been kidnapped three times this week, that week. Oh no. Yeah, that's Hello there. what I thought too. Damn folk. Don't I'm not sure. Maybe uh, let's let me have a little look at my map and just see if maybe we want to cross over here. Okay. Uh. 
so an anyway, in the end, I wound up with a canoe. So, but nice. and I and I was very confused. And then I had to go talk to the sheriff because, well, it was a deputy, I guess, because I had sent this telegram. Estelle, swim harder. Wow, the water's really running there, isn't it? Yeah, I think we can go along the the rock here. So he was uh, he was saying is kind of north of Valentine. So I guess maybe. Uh, Maybe it might be, like you say, on this side of the, the river, but uh, closer to Valentine somewhere. Oh, you see that fish? Uh, no, where where are the fish? I'll see if I can get hold of them. Come on, Distel, calm down now. Calm, calm. Nope, not gonna be able to get to him. Alright. Yeah, you don't want to uh, go too fast down the river yourself there. Nope, you're right on that. So I never did find out what 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 happened to the lady or why there was all these signs of, uh, you know, of I don't know what to call it foul play. Uh, and oh, the other thing was she was um, she was lighting the campfire right up against the building, almost like she was trying to start it on fire. Yeah, that seemed kind of uh, strange to me. Yes, you, uh, you, strange to me also. Yeah, you wouldn't want to uh, set a building on fire, really, unless you're trying to uh, hurt somebody inside, maybe. Yeah, there wasn't anybody inside, but I was thinking maybe, I don't know, getting rid of some some evidence of something, or I, I'm not sure. But it, was, it made for a very uh, exciting night that ended in me never knowing what was going on, so... Yeah, I told uh, I told some friends about the story, and they kind of thought that it was this lady, Miss Penny, who um, who uh, was friends with several of my other friends that they said had been acting real strange recently. But I I had met Miss Penny a few times, and I I'm pretty sure it wasn't her voice. So, but they said, well, everybody can make their voice sound different. So, yeah, I suppose that's true. I'm not very good at that, but some people are real good at it. So. I, yeah, I would have uh, difficulty, you know. I think, uh, you know, when I was uh, talking with the people about, uh, you know, doing uh, doing some more, uh, like, you know, doing more, I suppose, like, bad things, you know. Uh, I was talking about, you know, needing to, uh, to find a way to disguise myself because, you know, everybody, if I was walking around and talking like I do, you know, most people would probably be thinking uh, this this must be uh, Miguel, because not many people speak the way I do, right? Right, right. I don't know, this kind of feel like maybe there should have been something here, I'm not sure, but... Uh, let's have well, a the ducks look on were here. sitting here and they weren't paddling too hard, so... I guess you could be the strong and silent type. <clears throat> yeah. The person that just sits in the back with the shotgun and looks menacing. 
Yeah, exactly. I, I actually I have a like I have a thing on my horse with uh, you know for like uh, the if ever I need to uh, remain uh, how you say uh, like you say silent where people don't know me or or whatever, and I have a I have a bucket that I can put on my head. Because, oh, that's uh, a big bullfrog. Do you see him up there on the... Holy shit, yeah, look at that. And the size of that thing. Yeah, I don't see... Uh, I don't see any place that uh, they would have set one of these... Uh, these carts up. Agreed. There is some pretty still water, though. It was a good place to try. Yeah, I yeah, just make sure along here. I don't think he's uh, is there. We no, checked no. on the other side here, didn't we? I think uh, I remember coming yeah. down there, didn't we? Didn't you walk along that other shoreline over there? Um, not sure, actually. I'm not sure that we did. Maybe, maybe not. No, I think because we go over the bridge up there, did we? Didn't, didn't we? I don't know if I, I don't know if I dare swim this. It's really moving fast there. Yeah, let let me see if uh, oh, this day I think he's too far away to hear. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this uh, this state. The horses don't seem to hear as well as they would in North Dakota. Maybe the air is thicker or something, I don't know. Yeah, could be. Oh, this, they are always doing this. Okay, Destel, calm down. We're we're going to go for a little swim. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's going to be fine. We try and go a little bit further along here, and then uh, try and try and swim from here, maybe. Okay, Destel. All right. Do you ready? Let's uh, let's do this. Come on, Destel. Let's go. No, I don't uh, don't see anywhere that uh, it would be, you know, calm enough, I think. Yeah, me either. Boy, this is pretty much straight north of Valentine, though. I'm not sure where it would be then. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Might have maybe... to wait until they have it set up with the table someday. Yeah. Then we'll yeah. know. Let's go this day There we go, good boy, good boy. Yeah, it feel like it get a little calmer down here, so maybe uh, maybe there is a, a place further along, maybe that we missed. We did. Did we try from here? I can't remember.
This seems like the sort of area that there might be one if we were if we were going to find another one. This yeah, seems pretty down. ideal, but yeah, I didn't looked, see a spot. It looked good, but uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to be. Uh, doesn't well, seem I guess to be anyone set one up here. This so. is a crossing here, so I guess it wouldn't be right in the middle of the crossing. But no, maybe we uh, we stay on this side and take the horses a little further along. Yep, sounds good. Oh God, damn it, this tail! You all right? Yeah, calm down, seriously. What is wrong with you today? He's probably incensed that one of his cousin horses is piss yellow. Yeah, maybe you could be right there. Trying to uh, trying to think where else it might be along here. Maybe uh, maybe over there on that bank over there. I'm not sure. Didn't did we not? Uh, is might that, have isn't it. that the one that we? I do see a spot over there. All right. Do you? I do. Yeah, this must be it then. <laughs> We're finding all of the gold. <laughs> We're finding all the gold in them there hills. Yeah, another spot. Let's um, let's put down a marker then. Right here on this corner here. The looks of that. Oh yeah, perfect. Find some already? No, no. I, uh, just that uh, we can uh, we can do it right here. It seemed like yeah, uh, absolutely. This is this is real close. It wouldn't oh, be yeah. long to get here. I at did all. Uh, did find one just there actually. Ah, huh, nice. I'm getting uh, very lucky today. Yeah, maybe we uh, we go back into Valentine or something uh, in a little bit. Yep, sounds good. I'm ready whenever, but I'm glad we went and found the places. This will be nice. Uh, I like to do different things. I don't like to do the same things over and over again. Uh, there's some night when there's nobody around and I want to just go be in a beautiful spot and uh, have something to work on. It'll be nice to be able to pan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, just remembering the, uh, the the places, you know, uh, be able to uh, do that, you know, just kind of come out and relax and, you know, look at the uh, look at the beautiful surroundings as we do it. How much gold have we made then? So we've we've got. I think we must have got about. Five or six, I think in total. Twelve. Oh, okay. Well, then better than we than I if, thought. Um, I was just looking at my map here. We're not too far from that cattail pond. If you wanted to see if we could uh, wrangle a fish up out of the water, just to see if we can get it done before we head back. Yeah, why not? Let's let's try to do that as well. Okay. 
I hope uh, Miss Valentine doesn't get mad at me. I've got a delivery that I never made, so. All right. Yeah, I think she's okay, you know, as long as it get there eventually someday. Right. She, uh, you know, she doesn't seem bothered about doing uh, ones that are right next to her, so, you know, I guess it can, it can wait. I always wondered if that maybe was a repayment for those of us that do a lot of deliveries. Maybe she just gives us an easy one every now and then to make up for some of the ones where you might get chewed on by wolves or something. Yeah, you uh, you could be right there, actually. I have some friends that, you know, they were suspicious like you were about the amount of money she'll give for some fairly short deliveries. And uh, so they are like, I, they always are checking around to see if there's sheriffs around before they uh, take a package. But I've been standing right next to them before, and I don't know. It just seems like they would do, if they were going to do something about it, they know where Miss Valentine is. They could go talk to her any time, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a few uh, sheriff right past uh, earlier on, I think, when we were talking by uh, her tent. Uh, yes, there were. Yep, A couple of the recruits, I think they said. They have the uh, funny shaped hats and the uh, cheap skin uh, chaps. Yeah, yeah, I think so. They were saying at the saloon that they make them wear that because then they get lots of... Uh, People give them a lot of grief, and they have to get used to that if they're going to be in law enforcement, so. Yeah, I suppose uh, that's true, actually. You have to uh, you have to be able to take it roll, rolling with the, the punch, they say, I think. Yep. You, uh, you find any gold from here yet? Not at this one. I think I have about uh, 12, uh, 12 nuggets now. I think I might have eight. Oh, I just found three more. There you go, nice. Yep, that puts us even, 12 and 12. All right, maybe uh, we, uh... oh, I just found another one. <laughs> just one more That's there. all right. You can be lucky 13, I don't mind. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of lucky right there. All right. Yep. I'm ready anytime. I'll finish this pan off, and we can we can head over to the lake. All right. Perfect. That'll just take a couple of minutes. If there's some fish around, we'll get them quick. If there isn't, it'll we'll know enough. To, it's not a very big lake, so. What are you stressed about, Freya? Nah, maybe she don't like the look of this man here behind us. Yeah, uh, maybe. Let me make sure uh, I know a good route here. Hello there, sir. How are you today? I guess then uh, there must be one more place like further south, maybe between uh, the uh, the first place we find there and uh, the end of the river, maybe for uh, for panning. Then maybe I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, maybe or maybe farther. Do you think we were at the farthest south one? Um, could be. Yeah, I mean, there could be some place in between that we missed. Maybe, like yep, you say, it could be, or it might be farther south than the last one that we did, or the first one that we did. I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, Chansu's on as well. Oh, ah, shit. 
<laughs> Riding into a fucking tree. <laughs> yeah, we're not. We're still not sure um, what's happening with uh, with Penny at the moment. Um, it's kind of uh, up in the air, I think. Still, I don't know that Chansey knows yet what she's she's doing for definite with her, but. Um, Trumpeting. Yeah, over oh. there in the wood, I think. Yes, uh, so there is a grizzly bear that lives up on the hill on the opposite side of this catfish pond. All right. I leave him alone. He's always left me alone, but just just be aware. Yeah, I've got the, the shotgun just in case. Hopefully he don't get close enough for me to have to use that. I've never seen him come all the way down to Catfish Pond. I just know I can hear him from here sometimes, so. Yeah. Did I say Catfish Pond? I did. I meant Cattail Pond. No, I know what you mean. There's no problem. So obviously this requires you getting wet. So if you got something you don't want to get wet, uh, make sure to stick it on the horse first. So I look for the uh, the disturbances on the water, the bubbles. Oh, there, I uh, think a big fish right here. Oh, yep, you got them. If there's two of us, it makes it easier. You just try to kind of push them. And if you can get him forced far enough in, then you'll be able to grab him. Oh, where'd he go? I don't see. Oh, there he is. They are much better at this than I am. Oh, here, here we go. Yeah. Uh, Did you get him? No, he's still, uh, he's still struggling. That might just be a bad place. He might be getting hung up on that stick. So I'm gonna see if I can find another one. Oh, I think we got him. Yeah, yeah. Look oh, at that. Perfect. Excellent. Look at you. First try. <laughs> Look at that. The big boy right here. Yep. Now you can put him on the back of your horse if you want to show him off to everybody. Come on over here, oh. this now. Yeah, there we go. It's hard to find people that specifically want them, but I thought it was, I don't know, a new and interesting challenge. I had no idea that it was even possible to do that, so... Yeah. When they showed me, I thought I should show somebody else. So that's really, uh, really funny. You want to see if we can find one for you there? No, I'm okay. I wanted to catch one, but we don't need to. We don't need to catch two today. So. All right, no problem. Yeah, let's uh, let's go back to Valentine. Maybe we can have a drink okay. or something like that. That sounds good. Come on, Desteo, it's only a goddamn fish. It's not, uh, nothing to worry about here. Come on now. I'll let you lead the way. Oh, yeah, just have a quick drink of uh, water here. Hold on a moment. Let me uh, think about where we need to go from here. Yes, sir. Uh... 
yeah, I think uh, maybe we go up this way first, and then uh, then we go down there. Oh, I just noticed on my map that lady marked the spot for me to make the delivery. It's over here. All right. I'm gonna okay. run and do. I'm gonna run and do that quick. Yeah, no problem. Oh, some wild horses. Yeah, it's beautiful. I wish we could, uh, you know, tame them and keep one. You know. Yes. I, I'm hoping someday they'll make that a, a thing that we can do, so. Yeah, you never know, right? Oh, I can see it, but it's on the other side of the uh, ridge here. I'm gonna run down the track, I guess. Okay, no problem. It's the one I'm thinking of. Um, shouldn't be, shouldn't be too hard for us to get across from there and then go back that way. Yeah, I think it. Yeah, I think it's the one up the hill here. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. All right, uh, I think I know the way back from here actually kind of easy now. Okay. Yeah, the uh, the gold panning spot actually we were uh, we just find is just down here, or uh, one of one of the places at least. Yeah, that'll be nice. If I get tired of doing deliveries, I might stop on the way back and just pan for a while sometimes. Yeah, I'm kind of uh, I'm putting like a little dot on the uh, on my map now that I have drawn, you know, to uh, to keep. Uh, Track of where they are. Yeah, I have trouble. I uh, I don't know if it's because my map keeps getting wet or or what, but I've been making marks and then they've been rubbing off on me. Oh right, okay. We'll have to uh, <laughs> we'll have to take a screenshot of our map or something so that we can remember. Or maybe somebody's been are. while I've been asleep has been stealing my map and using all my locations that I've marked and giving me a. Give me a blank one like they give you when you first get to the state. Yeah, yeah, it could be like that. Yeah, I think this one uh, that we were at must have been the uh, the one he mean like north of uh, north of Valentine there. Yep, I think so. I mean, it's not absolutely directly north, but it's pretty close. Yeah, yeah. Some peeps. Evening. Hi, Miss Lana. Oh, uh, I'm okay. The um, prayer is getting real upset about the guy shooting. You want to uh, run the lamp? Yep, just a little bit. Just a second, Jacob. Hey, how you doing, there, my friend? I'm doing good, how are you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I wouldn't uh, stand too close to these uh, these horses, sometimes they, they kick like that. Yeah, when they get skittish to tend to. Oh. Yeah, yeah, oh. God for this guy here. Yeah, I'm just um, 
actually need to go to the uh, go to the bathroom just a moment. Uh, I'll be uh, I'll be right back. You could, do you know uh, Odvar? I do. I've met Odvar plenty of times. All right. Uh, can you? I think he's over there just uh, at the moment. But uh, yeah, just get a real feeling. I need to uh, visit the uh, the toilet right now. Okay. But, if uh, I if you oh he's coming over now. God, what's uh, what's going on over there? Sound like somebody getting shot. I'm guessing so. Yeah. Wait, is that uh, that not uh, Odvar, is it? That is it not? That's, no, it's that's not. That's Callahan. I thought it was. Is that Callahan? Similar color tone of the coat. No, I'm, I'm, he looked kind of familiar to me, actually. Who does? Ah, uh, that that man over there. But, sorry, I think I was shouting just now. I was by the way. Running to hide. I was not running towards gunshot. No, they It's Callahan. I'm I'm almost sure of that. Um. Just what the hell is wrong with you? Oh. Nope. What? Where? A bit of a gymnast. Yeah, yeah. He like to uh, get onto the rooftops right there. Really? No, <laughs> that's chance <John's laughs> I actually don't know where. Oh. You get off. Oh. Hey, that the uh, that you, Callahan? What the hell is going on? Miguel. Yeah. yeah. How are you doing, my friend? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I uh, haven't seen you in a long time. Are you uh, you you been okay down there in the landing? Mm, yeah, it's been it's been all bad. Fair enough. I've oh, been chasing yeah. Snyder for the last few I'm months. Right. I'll come with you and come back. Oh right, yeah. I thought maybe that might be why you uh, you weren't around. If you see what I mean, I thought maybe she had uh, she had gone off again on uh, one of those uh, long chases for you. Where did he go? You wouldn't lie to me if she had any contact with you, bro. Right? No, of course Excuse not. Me. No, no. Excuse me. Excuse mm -hmm. I fucked with them. I'm like, I stood out of the uh, for real. Oh, of course, yeah, no, I would, uh, I would tell you straight away where she was, my friend, of course. Let me uh, just introduce you to a friend of mine. I just meet uh, this this man called Advar here. But uh, I, I need to go to the, uh, need to go to the toilet just a moment. But uh, yeah. I'll, let the, I'll introduce you here. Right. Okay, I'll see you over there. I wanna go get changed. Hey, Sorry about that. Hey, no that problem. Uh, uh, my horse got Hi. spooked by We're that gunshot, so she said, let's ride a, ride around, burn some energy out. So. Yeah. But I heard you what say you that? needed to go to that house, so I'll let you go. Uh, yeah, no problem. Um, this, this, my friend uh, Callahan, you, uh, I was telling you about that uh, I haven't oh. seen in a while. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, my name's Adbar. Adbar. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, sir. Naturally. Alright, uh, uh, I'll, uh, I just need to go to the bathroom anyway, so I'll, I'm, I'm gonna go to the saloon in a moment, so uh, maybe I'll uh, see you both there in a minute. Yep, see you over there. Alright, okay, I'm just gonna go and run to the bathroom out the back here. Okay. I'm gonna have a seat on this bench. You're welcome to join me. In the desert. But I'm gonna see if I can find it. Let's hope um, no one comes along and tries to mess with us whilst we're doing this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we... I don't think we can. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> right. Um, bear with me, everyone. I'm just going to be right back. I just need to uh, do what is on stream right now at the moment. Um, so <laughs> bear with me. I'll be, in a, be back in a second.
Right, we are back. Sorry about that. Um, was kind of desperate for uh, a bathroom break. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've ever had to stop in the middle of um, a uh, a session and um, yeah, go and uh, do that thing. But um, oh shit, we haven't got any got any weapons and stuff on our back. Let's just. Um, just have something there so that we've got our pump and our there we go that's cool right oh that's better from the landing out west is all there he is right now Miguel uh, good evening my new friends Adbar and Amber oh Amber okay yeah good to meet you good to meet you so, uh, what has he been saying about me then? Nothing much, actually, just that your name is Miguel. Alright, oh, good, me. good, yeah, probably best Excuse not to, uh, to say too much. I think we also mentioned that you were currently occupying an outhouse. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sorry we about that. We did mention that. We were yeah, discussing yeah. what you might be doing there. <laughs> yeah, I'm well, not discussing such things. No, I'm sure you're not. You are a, um, a lady, so of course you would not. Nonsense, Amber. I believe you were part of this conversation. I saw it. <laughs> well, forgive not me in the for, way you're inferring. Not for changing the subject, but what exactly are these uh, services we all of yours, Amber? The wolf hunting business? I wouldn't say I'm in a wolf hunting business. I'm just a hunter by trade. So Naturally. I grew up uh, hunting with the natives near my, my town. So it's just always been something that I've done. It's what I know how to do. You uh, you all want to go and get uh, cerveza? Oh no, thank yep. you. I uh, I'll get around. I'll take coffee, but that's it. All right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's get, what uh, I'm gonna have to. So I can bring some over. Okay. Yeah. I'll uh, go and get cerveza. I don't think. Uh, actually, I need to go and get some money for that as well. I think I put everything in the bank. Oh yeah, Callahan, we uh we found the place that uh you know I was telling you me and uh Cornelius before we had been trying to uh trying to get Adbar. gold. Adbar, let me give you the funds for this. Oh please let me do it today. I, I can spare ten dollars. Uh, it's okay. It's the least I can do for meeting your friends. Alright. What would you like? Would you like a beer? Come on. Drink? Okay. Two of those and then two coffees. Okay. I'll bring you back. All right, come on. You're okay. So you were we meeting are... somebody about the gold mining business. Ah, uh, not right? not gold mining. Uh, we actually find uh, we find some gold in the rivers. All right. Yeah, we uh, we went uh, panning for the gold. They say. Easy there. Yeah, we uh, we managed to find uh, quite a bit. Uh, well. Uh, I think I have 13 and uh, our Advar there, he have 12 gold nugget. But, I yeah. can't remember who it is, but I believe one of the deputies will also pay well, like $5 per gold nugget as opposed to the, I don't know, a buck fifty that the general store will give you. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I think it was um, Advar was saying about uh, Mr. Carter or something like this, he say, I believe. Um, Maybe that too. Had Bo, just heard Bo, Bo, Bo Carter or something like this. Oh, Bo Cephas Carter. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, probably. That, that sounds like the name, at, at least, yeah. Oh, we were just talking, uh, Mr. Advar, about the, uh, the, the, the gold uh, panning. Okay. And uh, was the, uh, the man the, uh, that he would buy it for more money is uh, Bo Cephas Carter? Is that, this the one? Maybe. That's I, I, That's I who I've heard. Sure. Yes, yeah. I haven't sold to him myself, but some of my friends have. So yes, oh, he's right, a deputy okay. or a senior deputy, I think. All right. Yeah. Five dollars. What's five dollars times thirteen? Is a lot of dollars, right? It's, More than I uh, can count, at least right now. It's like thirty-five or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Uh, that's not bad no, money. It's probably more than that. It's probably seventy. I don't know. I'm bad at math. Yeah, yeah, I just, I get, you know, like, uh, one 
times 5, 2 times 5 is 10, and then uh, 15, and after that I kind of lose, uh, lose count of it all. Ah, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Well, the only gold that I, I seem to have. I can't seem to uh, hand it to you. Huh? The only gold that I'm after, Miguel, is on two legs, and she's very dangerous. So. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to try and find her at some point for you, my friend. Who's that you're looking for? She's a wanted fugitive, Samantha Snyder, trying to track her down. I don't believe I've heard the name before. Yeah, yeah. she uh, she used to uh, run around with us a lot. Then, uh, well, you you can explain, uh, Callahan. She's very dangerous. Her whereabouts would be rewarded with compensation, of course. What does uh, she look like? <laughs> She's tall, red-haired, wears a cavalry hat, braids her hair, white top, similar to yours, but maybe, um, blue skirt. I saw, you said redhead and a cavalry hat? Redhead and a cavalry hat, white I, top and a blue skirt. I, that sounds familiar, like somebody I saw. Would she be doing any hunting? I thought I saw somebody dropping off something at the butcher or trapper today that kind of fits that description. Very likely. She's on her own now. She's wanted. She needs to make some sort of income without... What she wanted for? She's killed folk. Private contract. Murdered somebody's husband, I heard. Okay. So, um, uh, what, I, I missed the name. I was wrestling around in my satchel. Sorry. Snyder. Samantha Snyder. Yeah, don't recognize <laughs> What's his name. Mikhail I'm really new to these parts, so I guess that doesn't mean much that I don't know the name. Same. But I will uh, keep my eyes and ears out, and if I see her, I'll. Y you want me to let her know you're looking for her, or you just want me to find you if I find her? I last saw her in the Blackwater area, so you just let me know, and I'll reward you. I prefer not to get mixed up in these sorts of things. I don't need to make enemies. Um, don't mean to mix you up, any. I respect your your um, services and the living that you make not to mention i enjoyed hearing about your little escapade with seven or eight wolves <laughs> oh, well, what, the, what, the, what happened with wolves now oh, I not over said... by wallace train station please tell me no no actually just just outside of town right right oh, over really? here yep uh this is i sense the sense the bear attack Oh, yeah, this is just a few hours ago. Oh, oh. I'm fine, though. I, I only got bit on the arm a little bit. Um, there was a native fella there, and he helped me finish off the pack. Uh, I had already had a couple down, but another pack came running up from, from the north. So it was two mm. packs at once. Oh, wow, yeah, been that's, uh, that's too bad. Been hearing more and more about that. We saw a uh, crow while we were out uh, looking for spots to gold pan. I wonder if that might have been him that helped you. Uh, he no, was it was... Back. No. No, his name was... Um, Taco. No, was Swig of Iron I can't remember. Little Fox is what he said oh, his name was. okay. Yeah, I had found, actually, that was the second time I encountered him, which is interesting. Because I had been riding the strawberry, and I saw a Mustang alongside the woodcutter's camp. And it was scared and jumping around, and I went and I calmed it and climbed on top, and I took him into town with my horse following behind. And I see this native fellow running out of town, and 
it was Little Fox, and he said it was his horse. So I gave him his horse back. And then he said, well, he said because I had done the honorable thing and returned the horse, he helped me in the future. And then, not an hour later, I ran into all those wolves, and he was right there. So. Well, it is yeah. a small world sometimes. That seems that way. But that's that's especially uh, coincidental, I guess. I don't know. If that's yeah. Word. It sure feels that way. Yeah, I, uh, I think I met this man uh, a couple of days ago as well myself. Uh, I was riding up into, uh, we were going to the Wapiti reservation and uh, yeah, he seemed like a really nice person. Uh, he took us up to a place that he uh, kind of called his own um, out in the, uh, well, it's in the mountain range there, but uh, he say we are welcome to go up there. Uh, you know, a beautiful place. Have a really nice view there. Oh, oh is, I that think, the, uh, is that the pass in between Strawberry and Valentine? Way up top? Uh, not sure. I kind of, when we went up that way, I kind of get turned around, you know, it all kind of looked oh. the same in some ways. I've just noticed that somebody sends a camp up up there sometimes. I, I wonder if it might be the place. Uh, could be, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure, but uh, I think he say he, uh, his name uh, Little Fox is the, um, his name is Tahashi. I think I'm not sure. It could yes, that, uh, could be wrong. Taco, yeah, Tahashi, something like that. Yeah. So Tahashi I, Mato, that's it. Ta Tahashi Mato, that's like. That's, that's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, he, uh, he seemed like a nice man, and he, you know, he said to me he preferred to be called Tahashi, so I said, okay, I call you Tahashi, so I better remember this now. Yep. Yeah, he'll be That's... trained to remember as well. Did you ever find Bones, Ember? No, I'm still looking for him. I, I have not seen him since we talked either, be... so. I'm hoping he'll be around later in the evening, I don't know. I'll probably wait until uh, I see a telegram from Deerhorn and then see if I can find him again. Not Deerhorn, but Bones. Excuse me, man. Oh, pardon me, man. Walking ain't tricky. Well, it seemed to be quite difficult for you, really, but... Uh... <laughs> what did I... Probably. Hmm? Ma'am, would you please... There. It won't be hard. Would you please leave? You're incredibly rude, ma'am. Thank you. God, what a what a I don't like to use the word but bitch, man. She uh she a horrible person. Oh, excuse me, sir. Oh, well, are you all doing are you all right? I can't even stop and bow when you're busy <laughs> he's like Michelle. or something. <laughs> I wouldn't say we're busy, we're just having a friendly conversation. Alright. I'm just gonna just run the bar over there, you know, if you here wanna stop in for a drink, just feel free, you know. Uh, you know. Alright, yes, yeah. Good stuff. You all kind of seem like country folk, you know? You all seem kind of, uh, you know, working folk, you know? You know what Mama's saying? That would be yeah. true for me. I'm a farmer, so. I can, I can see. Yeah, I can see that. You know, it look like you guys, you all kind of look uh, very rural. You know how to pull your, be like people that know how to pull their resources if you catch my drift. Yeah, well, I'm uh, I'm technically a gaucho, but uh, I do pretty much anything I can to uh, to make money, you know, so. Oh, I can see that. I can see that. You know, I just want to say, like, it's good having uh, decent working hard folk in, in town, you know. A lot of time we get, like, these people, these rich little boys and girls down from St. Denis, you know, like on daddy's money, and they sit around smoking and drinking all day long, thinking they were, uh, you know, they're the big oh top God, thing. So many like, names. You know, all around here, we all see through them, you know. It's this... But it's, it's good, like, it's good to see some, like, you know, some decent hard work folk. That's all I'm saying, you know, I mean, like, real, yeah. real uh, McCoy people, you know. New, uh, New Austin gave birth to me. You haven't got any bounties up, do you, in this town? Uh, I couldn't say. I'm just a bartender. You know, you'd have to go to Sheriff about that. I'm sure the Sheriff would be able to let you know. Right. I mean, uh, I always kind of heard it was illegal. You know, it were, you weren't kind of having bounties at the moment and all that kind of thing. But uh, I believe, uh, you know... We, I don't know. I heard all sorts of things that they weren't going after moonshiners no more. But they'll kind of, if you, if you know, there's someone who kills somebody like a real, a real bad murderer or whatnot. You know, they kind of they do give out special attention to that. I know. 
That's one thing you might want to ask about. Uh, there's some fella, I can't remember his name, but he's been dragging people off and killing them. Uh, well, I don't know. We've got a few of them. Uh, snake face. Eating uh, them as well. No, this may one. Maybe slimy. You know, I've heard about snake face. No, this one had just had a regular old name. Um, like Thomas or Toby or something oh, like that. I've well, heard about this one. Oh, that's... My name's Thomas, but it ain't me. Let me tell you that. Hang on. <laughs> oh, so don't, don't get any ideas, Dan, all right? <laughs> no, I, I heard Keep somebody talking out. about it. It was uh, Tobias, I think. That's oh, the Tobias, name. all right. Yeah. Ain't heard of that, like, but, um, you know. So there's a lot of... Run, so. <laughs> sorry. So there on. are... Sorry. There are two older gentlemen. Well, I shouldn't say gentlemen. If, if this guy's done what they say he's done, I guess he doesn't deserve that title. But there's two older fellows around here that are both named Tobias. One of them is pretty short and has silvery white hair, and he's a doctor. And uh, he's got a deep, a loud voice, but uh, he's mostly patching people up. And the other fellow, I think, is much taller. And I heard he's mostly making people need to go to the doctor, not so much helping them. So. <laughs> All right, well, I'll keep that in mind now. Uh, just another thing you need to know. Uh, I believe there's some kind of a cult hanging around as well, that uh, some kind of religious cult that lie to, like, you know, push yeah. God on you, and if you're not a believer, they go kidnap you and take you out of the woods. Bob... Start the <laughs> the name you. Bobcat That's always makes me think so, of um, Bobcat Goldthwait. If you ever Goldthwait. come across anyone like that, you handle them with uh, hey, the that was, utmost that's a really uh, consideration, I'd say, to people I've, like... I've met them a few times, to be honest. Well, that's I, what I, I wish I could do I, a proper impression of them. I, I, would, I, I, never I wouldn't want to try and do myself, one now. But that's, that's <laughs> what I hear um, grapevine, you know. No, I, His voice I, is kind of difficult you. to get nailed I, on, I if you see what I mean. And, I mean, they were um, odd. They were definitely very strange. Had some yeah, very certain, wrong certainly ideas as that caricature what anyway. were preaching. Um, but, I don't know. You know, because I ran into them in Annisburg, and I was alone, so... That guy's got exactly the same haircut. And whatever, pretty whatever similar face to Miguel as well. Actually, it away. <laughs> it's like well, you were looking, you were looking. We could, like we could almost be uh, brothers, maybe younger or older. Preachers. One day, you know, they were kind. Of, you caught them when they were tired, but you know, you watch out now, cause like, you know, they could, you know, I've heard all sorts of stories of people getting dragged off and people coming back in a bad way. No, I know, I've I've heard that they've set people on fire. That That's right. I was just looking to see whether or not um, other yeah. like that. people who play. Uh, yeah, yeah, I heard they. They try to baptize people by the drowning cults them are on, too. but I don't think they are. Oh my goodness. Well, you keep vigilant now, right? You know, and just make sure, like, you know, you don't go around, you know, without someone, I guess, you know, and make sure you keep yourself armed to the teeth and whatnot. I mean, this town has got some good folk in it, but, like, you know, it's not, uh, not as tame as it used to be. It's getting a little bit wild again. I see. Uh, I didn't catch your name, sir. I'm oh, my name's My name's Thomas. Thomas Bush, local bartender, jack of all trades, master of what non, pretty much. I run the post and do the uh, the bartending now and again. You know, <laughs> when, uh, you know, keep maybe like, you know, keep uh, keep people in line a little bit, you know, they're getting that line. But, you know, I ain't no hero or nothing, you know. Okay. Nice to meet you, Thomas. All right, then. Well, you take care now. Come on in the bar. You want to drink at all now, all right? Yeah. All okay. best. Thanks, you, have, you, have, you have a good day. Interesting fella. I've only ever seen Mr. Eli run in the bar, so Thomas must be new or new to me anyway. Oh, that's right. Been a few months since I've been around again. How is Eli? Friend of yours, right? Uh, not, uh, not seen him for a while, actually. I've, I've been kind of, uh, yeah, keeping myself to myself as well, you know, like, uh, I was living, uh, up near the, you know, the place we were kind of uh, staying at for a little while up there by, uh, it's, it's where the lady, the, the, we do the delivery up there to, uh, for uh, Miss Valentine there. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, yeah, I was staying up there for a little while, but uh, yeah, I haven't been down into the town until, well, a couple of days ago. I met, uh, I met a few people actually as well. Uh, the, there's some people are called the the cult cults or something like this the cult gang or something but uh, Church yeah. of Francis. Oh no, he means the oh. cults with the oh, like the gun. Cult. Yeah, like like yeah. yeah. It's, yeah it is yeah. real confusing because people are talking about the cult and the cults a lot, and I think sometimes some of the stories are getting cross crossed up. That's so probably true. Hey, look at this. Oh, howdy, Mr. Cedric. How are you, my best friend? 
You didn't Future vote governor, for me. Governor Cedric Worth. Thank you. Yes, you remembered. Oh. You think that he'll actually make the governorcy? Uh, look who it is. <sighs> nice to see uh, you too, Cedric. Is. Long time no see. <laughs> nice to see you haven't been eaten by wolves or such. I don't know why I would be eaten by wolves. Well, don't but you, you like just wander one. out in the... I don't just at. wander... Yeah, I know. I can tell. This well, is my... Um, the hey, the... The <laughs> blade of my life. I'm trying to say friend, but this is my friend, Cedric, uh, the worst. I mean... <clears throat> what Cedric, was that? Cedric Worth. How are you doing, bud? Hope you're well. Lord. See this, Odvar? I'm doing Did good. Did you get one of those tacky gold guns, too? We, uh... What? Tacky? This is gold we've, that is we've tacky done a little bit of, um... Oh, we Look can't, that. uh... I couldn't yeah, agree with her gross. more. <laughs> this is Don't beautiful. point at my foot. Where's your... How big are your feet? That's nowhere near your foot. <laughs> that Hands pistol. Down. That pistol doesn't belong in New Austin. The nice... We've, um... This way, this like is, we've been doing a little oh. bit of, um... Uh, little stubby, gold, rusty gold panning feet, today. Yeah. We've got They're 13 looking. gold nuggets. <laughs> it's a stage of We've, we've just been told that I'm, someone, uh, um, will pay us five Wait, bucks a gold nugget as well now. but I will be. I'm sure the votes have already... So, um... Yeah, I think I been counted and tallied. That's, that's my a name reasonable is... chunk of change. <laughs> I don't really care who's the governor, so. It's one confident man. I'm gonna be the governor. It's as simple actually, as that. Actually, uh, need I'm to uh, need to go and do Wait. the voting. Actually, I believe. Wait, if you become governor, does that mean you won't be hanging around the shop anymore? Well, I'll have to sell up, I guess. Oh, I should have voted for you. You just said you did. If you've not voted, go and vote. No, I haven't voted, but I don't care who wins. Cedric Worth for governor. Cedric the worst. What? Why do you say that? I'm the nicest person in this town. <laughs> yeah, the nicest. Oh, look at Odvar over there. Yeah. He's leaving. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Hello, uh, maybe we uh, maybe we should go over to uh, Saint Denis and uh, see if Miss Snyder is there, and maybe we could also do a do a vote as well. Does my vote even matter out there in New Austin? Well, I mean, if you don't vote, uh, you know, you won't know uh, if it's going to make a difference, right? I, all I know is uh, the, I think the name uh, Miss Winnie, she uh, she running, for, I'm not sure if she running for governor or uh, a representative, but... Uh, I think she's running for governor. She's kind of a criminal, too, so... I don't know. Like I said, I'm. I don't really care too much who wins. Uh, <laughs> I don't really see any good options. Yeah, I don't really know anybody else apart from. Well, I mean, I think I kind of just met this guy here, but uh, I'm not sure if I would vote for him. I don't know what anybody, you know, policy is, you know, in this sense. So. I don't know. How about we go ask him? Because I've asked him before, and he had very interesting answers. It, I'm right. sure it'll be entertaining. Mr. Worth. Time. Yes? These fellas and I were wondering why you're running for governor. Why do you say it like that? You know, you always have a problem with how I say <laughs> things. Say so like just answer the question and ignore See, my inflection. This is a 100% attitude problem. <laughs> I'm running for governor more... because everybody else is corrupt. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, no, it was more to find out, you know, what kind of policy you have. If uh, okay, you, know, you tell me what, your what major you're concern, and I'll tell you how I will uh, resolve it for you. How about that? Well, for for me, I think you know it would be good if there was, uh, you know, more more jobs around for people in different places, not just here in Valentine all the time. Well, I'm a businessman. I'd like to see a more diverse uh, range of jobs and businesses sprout up across New Austin. New Austin. New Alexandria, whatever the fuck this place is called. Fuck, I should oh, really you, know that. Did you, you just go, throw Karen. your bottle across the counter? Did I just what? Uh, I think you did. Oh, yeah. I did indeed. Well, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> well, I mean, your uh, your member of staff here can uh, can clean it up, right? Jefferson here, yes. Well, he's as dumb as a bag of rocks. Oh, that's, that's pretty dumb, right. yeah. Kind. Have you uh, looked at him through binoculars yet? He loves it. That's an interesting way to. Talk about your um, your uh, young entrepreneurs of the town around here. What, I know. Jefferson? I thought you said you were a business owner who wanted to promote businesses. I do. 
abuse the one that's here. This is my godson. I'm allowed to say what I like about him. <laughs> he's a fucker. 100%. Doesn't do anything. I mean, he stands there all day and he runs the shop. But does he really run the shop? All he knows is how to do is uh, hand over that. It's me that has to deal with the reprobates. But anyway, yes, business. You can trust if I'm the governor, which I will be, businesses and new jobs across the entire state. That'll be top of the agenda. What sort of jobs? Oh, fucking hell. I'm asking a serious question. I've not thought yet. Uh, the, the, Wait, whatever jobs there running? needs to be. And I you're... tell you what I will get rid of. The fucking the fee for the license. Ridiculous. The what? Well, I had to pay a fee. Do you not pay a fee? I, a fee for, for a business uh... license. Oh, business license. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I've never paid for this yet. Uh, I, I could it's pay just... for it, but I'm, I don't want to spend $100. Exactly. It's $200, I heard. What? It was $200 when I did it. Oh, maybe they rip you off, but... Uh... Exactly. But that will be no longer. You can well, trust in that. I wonder if I'm supposed to have one. I sell posters from time to time, but... Posters? Yeah, I make posters for, for people's businesses. Oh, well, that would have been nice to know. <laughs> what do you mean? Why didn't you bring that up by the many occasions we've known, spoke? I wish we'd known that. Never asked, me. You just verbally abused oh, me. Oh, what, what am I supposed to say? Hey, do you happen to do posters? It's such a strange thing to You could have up. asked what I do and the things that I'm interested oh, well, now in. I, know. I need a poster. How much does that cost? Uh, how much you paying? No, that, <laughs> it, Look, I haven't had a whole lot of business, so... Okay, I well, exactly. I'll pay you whatever it is you want to charge. I'd start with well, two hundred dollars. <laughs> well, I won't pay that. That's that's a little excessive. Now, Mason Black only paid me fifteen dollars, which I'll be honest. Well, I'll pay you more really than cover... fifteen. Yeah, it doesn't really cover my expenses. What's your expenses? I'll pay you double. How about that? Say a hundred dollars. Um, I'd say fifty dollars would probably cover it fine. <laughs> well, fifty dollars, huh? But it kind of depends on what you're what you're. Oh looking fucking for. hell! No, I. <laughs> I just, I mean, if you want to commission something, I need the details, right? What well, have well, you been up to anyway, Dirks? Have you been doing, uh, also, okay, oh, okay. Well, it would be good to way. have you for the, uh, Were the, you, uh, um, you playing Tarkov and stuff? Uh, still, or, um... Yes, it would have been nice to have you make a government, like, a oh, election um, posters. I wanted to, allowed to do that now. say, yeah, um... Sorry? I'm not sure, let me just check my phone. I've got a feeling... No, I said I'm sorry, in, like, as in... Oh. Three or four. I wish I could have helped. Um, <laughs> no, you don't. What? Okay, quit Three or four days, what it I opens up again the whitelisting on this have server. Such an attitude. Um, I can't deal with it. I've just applied actually for whitelisting on um, PRC. I, I the, the PRC, is it? I'm just trying to be nice and help him out, and he's whining at me. Uh, you know, don't look at me. Uh, I don't. Yes, go. Yes, just tell the truth. Oh, come on, guys. She can help take me the truth. Here. Uh, sorry, I was kind of in my head when uh, when you were <laughs> talking. There, I was thinking about I something. I don't have an attitude problem. You have the biggest. You you're the worst person uh, for I'm attitude. I'm not the one with the last name worst. My last name's worth, you fool. Yeah, worst. I heard you say it. So you need to say it again. Oh, hello. Yeah. What did they just come through here? Okay. Yeah, they're like just opening my back door. Not a <laughs> euphemism. Excuse me. <laughs> what? I mean, uh, I've not really seen an attitude, uh, but I've only known this lady for, uh, you know, a few, well, maybe a couple of hours. Well, take my advice and uh, run as fast as you can. Why, is there a bear or something? Uh, well, yes. Of sorts. <laughs> I only got attacked by bear once, and you weren't there, so... I've you... never <laughs> lost to a bear. How about Do that for a double slogan? Upset. Have you ever faced a bear? I have yeah, a um, massive one tried to Mark, beat Rosa. Mark Berg was um, nice streaming on the um, PRC. Oh, good for you. I'm glad that you saved um, Rosa. Well, I'm I not. thought you hated her. I don't hate Is her. Is it she PRC? I'm pretty sure I it's called PRC anyway. The next one who um, up your stairs. But yeah, he was, oh, um, that's, he was on that's there last night, I think, messing around with it. And I think Coob is already whitelisted on there. That is. So, um, yeah, we, we applied for that. my dead wife now. Just got to go and get some fresh air. Wait, uh, did he say, uh, did he say Rosa is dead? No, he's, uh, you have to ask him what happened to his wife and his daughter. I still think oh, you could have right. at least got $70 from him. <laughs> well, 
We'll have to see what he wants for a poster if he's actually gonna commission one. I can hear you. These walls are paper thin, you fuck. Fifty dollars was the price. <laughs> what? I want to commission a poster. Wait, where'd Fifty dollars. Where'd you come from? You were just right there. What? You I was walked around the whole store. Yes, I was uh, inspecting the place. Okay. <laughs> uh, um. I'll pay okay. you. What? Do you what take you... the money up front or what? No, I work on it, and you approve the design, and then you pay me. I will. I'll do um, that. Yeah, the, well, the application want, exactly. for PRC was well, pretty uh, short, to like be a, a, a poster that makes the shop look less shitty um, than it is. It's like that? a couple of, uh, it was a few paragraphs. Okay, but, you know, do you but, want any yeah. specific slogans Just on it? Just saying why you, you know, enjoy Red, Red Dead as a... The man of the people. As but a particular... This place to general RP on and, and what election. you find oh, yes, good about it. Like subliminal. Yeah, um, one or two other things, but yeah, it was pretty pretty simple. So maybe stuff. Cedric Worf's um, and you don't have to write a character background and stuff like that. I don't think either. So something like that. Um, no. I mean, it sounds kind of communist. It's just kind of like what? one of those sort of Absolutely hypothetical not. situations. Well, like, you just come up with it. I'm not. What am I paying um, you for? What you would do in this situation and then what you would do in another situation. I pay myself. Art and. Um, but yeah, it's, it seems but fairly. I still have to know what you want. Fairly Otherwise, simple. How am I going to put down something that you want? Like, what's the name of your store? I don't even know that. It's Worth's General Goods. All right, there's a but start. Put Cedric in the front, so people know my name. Cedric Worth's General Goods. Okay. And provisions. And provisions. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you need to take a photograph of me? Uh, I don't have a camera. Oh, well, fuck. Well, that's no good. What? So do you do... How, how do you do this? Is it by hand or what? I'll go around and I'll... I'll go wait. I'll, I'll draw it draw it out. And I'll send it to you. You, uh, you want I'll to see if we see can uh, maybe find Miss Snyder Man somewhere? The people. But this is about a store. It's not about a man. I've been looking for a few months now. Cedric Worth General it's not Store. not likely. And provisions. Yeah, right. Yeah, I've not uh, I've not seen her at all. Uh, I've not seen uh, Gasper either. To Good be honest, that was I was kind of thinking everybody had uh, you know got caught somehow in, in something. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, I okay. was thinking the worst, you know. But uh, I'm glad to uh, see you again, anyway, my friend. You know, so it's what's been the uh, been a while, but. Uh, yeah, I've not seen Miss Snyder at all, uh, making me kind of worried that uh, she's not around with you either. Train she's in a... two, so does that go on there, or, or do you change she, location? She ran away from me. On purpose, of course. Yeah, yeah, she she have a habit of doing that, I think, didn't she? Mm-hmm. So I've been searching for quite some time. All right, Cedric Worth's goods and provisions, yeah. the finest available in Valentine. Yeah. Well, hopefully, uh, maybe we, we oh, can sure, find her is. together. Yes, of course. Sorry, ma'am. It's kind of rude. She'll just go barging through everybody like that. And such. Okay. Uh, I suppose it right. was. She's almost as bad as the locals. Any other services you want to highlight? Do you want me to go tell her that for uh, you? Ah, not really. No. I don't care. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> she, she as bad as the ladies that so come out of that uh, the fucking saloon the over there sometimes. For the people. For the people, yes. And there's a lady earlier on when, well, you were on the, the, the doorstep you know, over here. Made this whole post to myself. She just come, no, like, um, walking right into everybody, like, you'll see. Walking through like three people, don't care. Miguel, there was a gentleman here in a red flannel shirt. He had a very big white horse with a lantern on it. He came yeah. through here uh, several hours ago now. Tried to steal the buck I had right off the back of my horse. What he tried to? Uh, he tried to steal your buck. You know, right off the I'm back gonna do of the this for you, and I'm grateful for the work. I. What a bastard. How'd you go? Well, I stopped him with my shotgun, of course. And How'd you go? 
And then my horse kicked him twice and knocked him unconscious. All right. Good. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to uh, go and do this this voting thing, maybe, and see if you know there are anybody who uh, who might be worth voting for. Maybe uh, you think Miss Snyder might have gone to Saint Denis for? I know she never liked to go there before, but uh, maybe I she. I suppose uh, we could. Maybe she's gone there. I'm gonna use the um, the outhouse. All right, no problem. I'll uh, I'll wait here for you. Let's let's go to the bar actually, just quickly, and see if anyone's in there that we can talk to before we uh, we head out. Get Miguel a bit more well known again. Pretty much everyone used to know him, like on the server, <laughs> on um, on server three, is where we used to hang out mainly. Um, there you are, man. All right, you get that then. Yep. All right, you just kind of give that to the other gentleman. I'd appreciate that. Though. Oh, Miguel. Thank you oh, very much. Hey, how are you doing, Adbar? And, uh, I'm doing uh, all right. Sorry to uh, uh, take off two, there. Two by two oh, no problem, no problem. Closest to me, so, uh, I uh, got pulled into another conversation. Um, very good. Very good. How about yourself? I'm not bad. Uh, you want a drink? That Miss uh, Lana is at the Thank bar you. that right, I was telling right, you you should talk to. In the white shirt with green green cuffs. Also, oh, right, okay. Keep sticking. I think I'm going to be all right for now. All right, okay. In uh, man in blue. Oh uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. All right. You uh, know, I'm sorry. I'll catch your name. Uh, yeah, um, the, the, uh, uh, yeah, you got a coffee it. drinker on you, so you, you, you won't want to drink, will you? No. Well, I grabbed another one off the stove over there for Miss Ember. So, but oh, I still man. owe you all for right. for the other round for whoever uh, so else. All right. I just put it all on a tab. About two dollars, ain't it? Right, and so far about that two dollars. You know, since okay. these two well, don't want to drink, and there's only poured two there. So. That's just a dollar, but a dollar. Miguel! Shot, or whatever you want to call it, or a little sip, whatnot. Eli! Javier! Alright, appreciate that. How are you doing, Stack It Miguel. Up? Miguel, did you want a drink? I bought a round at the bar. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, why not? Why not? What can I get you, Miguel? Uh, Sarbetha, please. Um, I didn't catch that. Um, um, uh, um Papa? Oh, sorry, uh. Uh, cerveza, um, a beer, please. Oh, right, okay. I, I don't understand no Spanish or whatnot. You know, I only understand two languages, and that's good English and bad English. Right, so here we go. All right, well, you'll probably be hearing mainly bad English from me here. Well, that's good, you know, that's good. It's all right, my way for try, I'll tell you. All right. Right, so here we go. You uh, you want me to step over to the uh, the other side there? Sometime is easier. No, no, am I? No, the camera's just been a little bit awkward here. Excuse me, two seconds. Sorry about this. Ah, no problem. What up, homie? I'm great, just relaxing. Haven't been Should online recently. Nice yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank Excellent. You. There we go then. All right. So that's a little three dollars here. All right. Excellent. All right. We'll make a good Miguel, headway. We gotta go. Oh, you you being Oh shit, okay. alright, maybe you, maybe I, I, get, I get another get, one next time. Just chug it, chug it, just chug it now. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Chug, 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 chug. That's it, that's it. Woo! Ah, that's ah, like God, a real God. man, oh, yeah. Jesus, right. I, I'll see you later on. Alright, ah. adios, signore. Buenas. <laughs> the Snyder took my horse. Really? Holy shit, right, okay. Uh I have a let hold on, let me give uh let me give the pike to uh to Advar and then we we try and pursue her. Let let me find her.
<laughs> walk as fast as we fucking can. <laughs> Our no time to explain, friends. Advar, but uh, here, here is the pike you, for you, and um, <laughs> okay, down, I've, I've got to, uh, uh, my friend has to ride on my horse, so uh, here, here you go. Oh, my uh, sorry, no, I didn't oh, mean to throw that. To, you know what, I'm gonna have to clean that up, you know? Ah, oh, shit, okay. sorry, yeah, but you, yeah, I'm sorry, I've got here. to go, I've got to go, we, we, we need to try and find somebody. <laughs> Right, let's go, let's go. You, uh, you see which way she go? I'm looking, I'm looking. Check the... I can't hear you too well, sorry my friend, you speak up a little bit. Check, check the ridge lines. You see any horses on the ridges? Ah, uh, can't see anything up there. She's wearing black. She had a black jacket on. All right. Maybe we should go up on top of the uh, on top of the ridge over here. See if we can't get a better view from up there. You go over on that ridge. I'll go up on this one. All right. Okay. Yeah. Been playing GTA RP a bit for the first time. Ah, oh, nice, man. What server are you um are you playing on? see from here no limits RP I don't think I heard of that one but yeah that's that's cool I, I do like um, GTA RP the um the problem I've kind of found with the server that I've been playing on which is twitch RP is um I think they've almost done themselves like a disservice in some respects by making things like too I don't know too complex in some respects um, like they've they've changed the server now so that you can buy buildings and then you can put interiors into the buildings and stuff like that and even though there's like a hundred odd people on the servers um, like you don't see many people Apart from people who are like grinding to make money, um, and most of the time those people don't want to role play; they're just grinding to make money, um, which is kind of disappointing. Um, me and Prag um, were playing on GTA RP together for a little bit, and um, we couldn't find um, we couldn't really find anyone to role play with. It was literally we 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 were at a petrol station. Um, or a gas station, as you guys would call it. Um, oh shit! Um, trying to find people um, that way because we thought, like, obviously people will come through, like, refueling their vehicles and stuff. Um, but um, have I got a lantern? Yeah, I have got a lantern. Sweet. Um, I want to see if we can't signal Callahan. Um, you envy people that are able to role play properly. Um, yeah, I mean, role play is just literally just yeah, um, sort of pretending that you're a character. Essentially, it's, it's there's not much to it in that sense, I suppose. Um, it's just sort of trying to stay in character, I suppose, and just treat things the way um, the way that you think your character would treat them. Um, Did I just see him? Yeah, he's coming back this way now. Um, Let's 
circle around the town. All right, all right. Um, but yeah, I mean, role playing in itself isn't like too too difficult if you see what I mean. Um, but yeah, it's I think it's it can depend really on the server that you get onto as well. Um, still, yeah. Um, like if you if you end up on a server that's like a little bit. Where, the, where people are just sort of like, I don't know, um, just going around grinding and stuff like that to make money or like um, robbing everyone because that's what they do kind of thing. Um, some some servers can be a little bit difficult. Um, but um, in the main, most of the servers that I've roleplayed on and most of the servers that I've been on in that sense have been like pretty pretty good, um, and we've not really had too much problem, um, but um, yeah, sometimes you do find like uh, some of the servers can be like iffy. Uh, I don't see his horse anywhere, and I don't see him. There is a white Arabian right there, but that's not his horse. Um, but yeah, I think it's all about like finding a, a server that you sort of fit in, if you see what I mean. Because um, you don't have to be good at voices or any of that kind of thing. Um, if you're playing a character, there's a lot of people who play characters and it's like, um, it's just their voice, if you see what I mean. Um, oh, he's found his horse, by the looks of it. I found, found the horse in those trees over there. All oh, right. You think uh, she might have gone up on to the uh, to the river, maybe somewhere? Feel like other players kind of break the immersion when you're Join playing in an MMO. Together, Thank you for the follow, dude. The galaxy, um, father and son. Yeah, I know what you mean. Sometimes. Snyder, damn it. Miss Snyder. Miss Snyder, hello. Is Miguel? <laughs> um. But yeah, I know what you mean in some respects. Um. It's it's hard, like finding a good, a good balance of people who are like, who are serious role players, and then also people who know the sort of line if you see what I mean um, and they're happy to have a joke and, and mess around sometimes but they're also like quite happy to um, you know do serious role play and stuff as well we we tend like the groups that I'm in um, or that I'm you know good friends with um, we tend to do more sort of serious role play is that a... what the fuck just happened there just heard someone there, uh, there's a strange light over there. All right, let's have a look. Let's let's go over to see what that is. Um, but yeah, there's there's some people who are very much like. Yeah, you see the it, the the light going quickly. It, it it riding away almost. Excuse me, sir. Have you, uh, sorry, have you, uh, have you seen a lady uh, in black at all? No. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Mm. We're uh, we're searching for somebody. Uh, she uh, is a well. She her name is Miss Snyder. Uh, she apparently she was wearing black, um, but uh, yeah, she. She might be dangerous. Just be careful. All right. Yeah, I haven't seen her. We haven't seen her. All right. Sorry. What? Uh, what is your name there? 
Uh, people call me Big Ben. All right. What about um, you? My name is Miguel, Miguel Sanchez. Nice to meet you. All right, well, yeah, take care out there, and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we, we find her uh, before uh, too long. But uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, be careful. There's wolves out here. We just, I think I got the alpha, so the others scattered. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Always, uh, always carrying a gun myself as well, so uh, yeah, I should be okay. But uh, thank you for the warning. All right, be safe. Yeah, you too, you too. Thanks. Kuda went off up this way, I think. Um, going to try and hop on or hop in shortly. Um, I don't, uh, let's, let's I don't, have didn't see at, her. Let's have a look at Casper's. Yeah, yeah. The light was probably that guy riding away on his horse, um, trying to get away from those wolves, I expect. Casper, we're coming inside. Anybody home? Casper, you here? Casper. Maybe we should check the barn. Yeah, hopefully catch you in the server. No. Um, stack it up. Anybody in here? No, nobody there. Do you think maybe uh, she would have gone off to that other place that uh, we found? You know, that, that small ranch somewhere that Casper showed me that had the, uh, the chickens there? Yeah, I wonder, uh, wonder where she is now. I didn't expect um, Chauncey to jump back on as um, as uh, Snyder yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously she's up to up to some tricks, trying to find um, trying to find her again now. Um, yes, Chantu is still on the server, so she's obviously still around somewhere. She's causing problems for uh, for peeps. <laughs> it's what we like, though. Um, but yeah, we've um, we've had some pretty amazing stories with our. Um, our alt character, Mig um, not Miguel, um, uh, Cliff, Clifford Martin, um, um, but yeah, it's, um, it's been a while since we played Miguel and had, um, had Callahan and, um, Snyder and, uh, Casper all together and stuff, um, Yeah, it's um, it's been a lot of fun. Like, um, 
Cliff's story is taking like a real dark sort of turn. Um, again, with with Cliff at the moment, we're not really sure what's happening. Um, with Chansu's character, um, Penny, because she did actually um, get shot and thrown off of a bridge. Um, so uh, I'm kind of wondering whether or not she uh, is going to perma as well. Um, she's still not 100% sure either way which one way she wants to go. Um, I'm just going to see if we can actually... I don't think you can get into this building here, but um, maybe you can. We just don't know. No, you can't because there's loads of stuff in front of it. Did we, did we just lose Kuda? I think he went off that way. Down into town again. Mm hmm. Did he? Yeah, there he is. I didn't see her anywhere. Hmm. Maybe we should ask around. Yeah, yeah. Let's pitch up um here or something. Should be right. You, uh, you say she was just wearing all black today? She had her red hair down and she right. was wearing black. He's throwing the fucking fish between all of them. Um, uh, maybe we uh, we should ask the people in the bar in case she's uh, she's come through there somewhere. Their services and the catching people, but you know it's all for anything for a price. It's all for a price. Yes, but I think it, you definitely should be regulated. Absolutely now. Right. Welcome well, I won't keep it all of you. You know what? Uh, you know it was great meeting you all, oh, and talking you. to you all. But my my shift has ended, and uh, sure. you know you all take care. It was good good meeting you all, and uh, Mr. Sigmund, uh, best Who? of luck and all that. You know. Uh, you I just hope called me. What did you just call me? Mr. Sigmund. Is that right? <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm Cedric. <laughs> Cedric, all right, Cedric, Cedric, that's right. My hearing ain't no like good. But uh, Mr. Ardvor, Mr. Ardvor, uh, yes, you know, I'll, nice I'll come. Meet you. Nice to meet you too. Listen, I'll come down your farm when um, if you're about at all, you know, if I see I'm you. I'm there about, a lot. Well, I'll come down. I'll come on down there. I'll come find you, all right? And you know, I'll stop by from that swinging by that the part of the, the state, I guess. Okay, thanks. All right then. Okay, well, uh, everyone, take care, and I'll, I'll catch you when I catch you. Have a good day. Have a good day. You take care. All right then. Take care now. Uh, by the way, sorry to interrupt everybody here. Uh, has anybody seen a lady with uh, uh, red hair? It's kind of like uh, down there, like uh, Amber's hair is, I suppose. And uh, she wearing all black. Uh, Not today. Have, no. no, I haven't oh, seen her. Right. Damn. Okay. Uh, I need to speak to my friend here. Sorry. Uh, thank you. Thank you. That's okay. Yeah. Nobody. Uh, nobody has seen her. I uh, don't know what to. Uh, don't know what to do. 
Let's ride down. Yeah, where uh, where should we I go to? So. Sorry about that. I think so. Yeah. Hmm. Let's go for a ride. See if we can't find um, Chansu. He's, he wants to take off. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. Try and keep an eye on him because we don't want to lose him in the forest and then not be able to find him. Uh, well, here's a little hut slash house in the middle of nowhere. This is um yeah this is where that uh there's an elk now in Red Dead Online um it spawns around this area um like the legendary elks speaking of elk this one <laughs> over that way he he just gone straight towards. Where this lake is, he's talking about. Did, I, did we just see him? There he is, yeah. This lake is that he's talking about. Uh, I'm guessing he means O'Cree's run. 
Um, but I could I could be mistaken. We're just going to keep following Kuda and see if we can't find find where he's intending on going. With all these camps and stuff that I never even knew about. Yeah, I'm assuming he must mean Okri's run. It is not the translation of my name, but a name I have adopted. This is, uh... This is Tahashi's place. Galahan! We've just ridden straight up to where Tahashi is. Galahan, that was uh, that was the place Tahashi is. We should ask him. We should ask him if he uh, have seen uh, Miss uh, Miss Snyder. All right, just describe the woman. Don't give too many details. All right, okay. Travel peacefully. See you too. Calm down, boy. Mm. Hello, my friend. Um, we are uh, we are looking to see if we can uh, we can find somebody. We think maybe she might have come up this way. We weren't sure if maybe you might have seen her. She uh she wears um all black, and she have uh, red hair. She is um, a little bit of a fugitive right now. She's she's wanted by people. I'm not seeing this person, but I want you to know this is very important. These lands, yeah. two rules. The eagle must be honored, not hunted. And the first rule, peace in this land. Yeah, we are. Uh, we tried to find her to help her, um, but yeah, we 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 aren't going to hunt uh, any animals, and we we do value the uh, the eagle as well. Uh, I remember you you brought me up here a, a few days ago with uh, with those people, and uh, yeah, wanted to uh, just see if maybe you had seen her riding through here. We're worried about her. Hmm. I have not. Seen this person, but okay. Outsiders that come with troubles from law or from others, they must remain at peace here. Any who disturb this law will not be welcome back here. Yeah, understand, understand. But. Mm. Hopefully, if you yeah. wish to, if you wish to stay uh, or take food for your travel, you may. But no, I've not seen this dark dressed lady, red hair, here. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh, it is Tahashi, right? Whoa, hmm. What the hell? Yeah. Well, Tashi. Th thank you, Tashi. And uh, hopefully we can uh, we can find her. She. Uh, she means a lot to everybody, and my friend here has been worried about her. Mm. Let's go. But yeah, we Who we is thought uh, this friend. Oh, this man. Uh, this is Callahan. Callahan, uh, say hello. This is Tashi. Howdy. 
Mm. Yeah, he a man of few words, like they say. Well, thank you anyway, Tashi. I won't take um, any more of your time. We uh, we just wanted to see maybe if uh, she had come through this way. Is there a, is there a lake nearby to here? We we think maybe she might have gone to uh, a lake. My friend uh, here was saying, but uh, I'm not sure if I know of any lake around here. Mm -hmm. There are two bodies of water, one to the east from here. You may follow this road, heading that way. It will lead you to the bigger lake. Okay. It is, it is not sacred, this lake. It is not... Do not stress of any breaking laws. But the second lake is more to the southeast. This is a very sacred lake moonstone you must not harm the spirits of peace here you must travel quickly through and drinking the water there you must give thanks to the water spirit or it will turn poison and you will die okay thank you right that well, we will we will go through there. Then, if that is okay with you, we will try to find uh, we will try to find the uh, the lady on that uh, going that way. Damn wasted time. Hmm. Thank now you, Tashi. Ma. Travel in peace. Take care of yourself, Tashi. Thank you. It's a good thing that we knew. Oh shit! Um, it's a good thing that we knew that that was uh, where they. Um, where Tashi was, because <laughs> when I came up there, I was like, oh, "This feels very familiar." I've literally I came up there two days ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're not far off of um, needing to uh, needing to jump off. So hopefully we uh, we can find her or find somewhere to rest fairly soon. Um, Which way is it to the uh, to the lake? Believe this is it. There's a fishing spot here. I didn't realize there was a, a fishing spot this far north. Most of it was like on the on the rivers. That might be new, though. To be honest, this is a long time since I've actually gone fishing at all. <laughs> it's just not worth it. Um, Snyder. Doing great. I should have known 
when I see you through. Ah, uh, likewise. Choice, do I? Seem to have had a choice for the last two or three months. Oh, I still hate you. Come on, Banjo. Calm down. I know why you hate him, right? <laughs> I know why you hate him. <laughs> Caught me again, huh? Mm. As intended. I really shouldn't go to this place anymore, huh? <laughs> well, I've checked Just here like before. So mm. All I found was a bear on the front. <laughs> well, they are around here. They usually don't cause any trouble. What's the meaning of you showing up in Valentine? Well, I thought I saw your horse and uh, thought I would have a little fun with you. I thought you hated Valentine. Uh, I do indeed. I haven't been there in three or four months. And you just happened to ride through there today. Hmm. Well, of course. Figured I should probably give it a look, seeing as how I wasn't getting any luck finding you anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Came all the way there. Sure enough, you just had to stick your nose in my business. What are you out of money again? Nope, I'm certainly not. Thirty dollars I gave you, you have it. I do? Not on me. I'm surprised. Why is that? I thought you were a big spend spender. Uh. <laughs> I didn't know you could take care of yourself so well. Well, I certainly can. So, what have you been up to then? Just looking for me? That's all you've been doing? No. Not exactly. The landing doesn't take care of itself. Mm-hmm. But it's good to see Miguel again as well. Naturally. <laughs> Yeah, sorry everyone, I was just checking my phone quickly. Yeah, good to good to see you both as well. What have you been up to then, Miguel? Ah, uh, well, I've not really been doing too much, but uh, kind of, you know what we were talking about with that whole um, bank thing at one point? Oh, really? Yeah, I might have had a... A meeting with some people who might know about uh, might know how to uh, to get these keys, and uh, they say actually they might be uh, able to uh, you know show me how to do this job. Do you uh, trust these people? I'm not sure quite yet, uh, but uh, huh. I meet them like a few times, and uh, they seem they seem okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure if uh, not sure if I should uh, trust them quite yet, really. Hmm. All right. Well, seems interesting. I hope you can uh, get some work done with them. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to uh, see how it works out. There was uh, another person as well that. Uh, 
well, I met a few natives as well in the last couple of days also with uh, with that same group actually who uh, were talking about, you know, doing, uh, they've done a few bank jobs apparently and uh, they've always got away with it. So it sounds like they then? know what they're doing. No, no, not the natives, but oh. they, we meet these natives uh, when uh, when I was with these people and um, oh. we were going up there to see... Uh, if uh, you know, maybe we could have a look at their horses because they have uh, some beautiful horses there that you you can't find anywhere else, I believe. Oh, and, really? Uh, yeah, the one of the people I ran into uh, when I was in Rhodes, she uh, she said that her mother is uh, is native, so we uh, we wanted to go up there and find uh, if we could speak to someone who might know a little bit more about her heritage, but. Uh, yeah, the uh, the people there, the the natives, didn't want to uh, share their horses uh, or the secrets, you know, of how to breed their horses or where where to find them. But um, they seem like good people there. Uh, we met one called Tashi just now, actually, who let us ride through. Uh, there is an area he showed me uh, a couple of days ago with those people that, uh, you know, is uh, is kind of a place he liked to camp and he invites people to come up to. Um, Oh, I so, uh, think I saw that place actually, but uh, I just saw one person there that was meditating. Yeah, it was probably uh, probably Tashi. Oh. But uh, the natives there, they are uh, they're good people, and um, so long as you don't um, don't shoot any eagles there, and also don't uh, don't bring problems to them, if you see what I mean. Oh. But yeah, they are uh, they are good people. But there are lands around here which are sacred, and uh, if they find you there, then uh, yeah, they they won't be happy. So it's kind of good that we found you here, um, be because uh, this is not like one of their sacred places, but uh, close by to here. Apparently, they are uh, there is, and uh, they would not have, oh. uh, they would not have liked it if they found uh, anybody there. Oh shit! Well, that is good to know. Yeah, the uh, the Wapiti uh, reservation there, up uh, a little bit further north, is uh, is their land. But I believe from kind of where the railway line run, pretty much uh, from there and upward is uh, is theirs. Oh, I see. But yeah, there is the uh, is it the Bacchus station? I think somewhere around there. That's that's where you can kind of go to find them. But yeah, sometimes uh, they they will you know be confrontation about uh, you coming there. But as long as you show them respect and you know go with empty hands, you know usually they will be okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's uh, that's reasonable. Yeah, yeah. They are uh, they are good uh, good people, really. Uh, they were actually kind of uh, understand about you know my situation from Argentina they they realize I'm you know a native of Argentina so they they uh, they kind of have a kind of simpatico with me oh but uh, yeah I think uh, you know in, in general they are pretty pretty understanding people well that's good we seem to be losing our daylight. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Was thinking I uh, might need to uh, to go to sleep myself um, fairly soon, but uh, I was thinking maybe I ride back to uh, to Rhodes or something there, or maybe to Valentine. But uh, I'm not sure. Where are uh, you going to be uh, staying, Callahan and uh, Miss Snyder? Well, surely Miss Snyder could offer her hard way here. Mm-hmm. Of course I could. As rest. All right. Yeah, I might uh, might do that. And uh, you and me, Del. Where are we going? <laughs> Usual black water. No, not or exactly. Landing. 
Not exactly. Hmm. Okay. Mysterious. Well, I don't really have any plans. Hmm. All right. Of course, I do plan for running for sheriff, in Blackwater. When the elections okay, you know. take place. All right. Yeah, they are. Um, they are electing uh, the the governor and uh, state representative, I believe, at the moment over in Saint Denis. I think we, we didn't we go there before one time a few months back now. To uh, to vote, um, I believe I'm not sure. Oh yeah. But uh, yeah, this they're the, the same place there. To uh, yeah, you can you can put your vote there and uh, yeah. I'm not sure who I'm going to vote for yet. We actually we met somebody who apparently running for governor earlier, but I'm not sure I'm going to vote for him. His name is Cedric. He uh, he run the general store. I think he say in uh, in Valentine there. Oh. I mean, he seemed like a you know good enough person, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure that uh, I want to vote for him. Mm, I see. Anyway, I uh, I think I might uh, creep to uh, to the bed there. Uh, is it okay if I uh, stay here for uh, for the night? Yes, yeah, sure. All right. Well, uh, you you both take care, and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, I will see you uh, again in the next couple of days. All right, you too, Miguel. I'm gonna try and make my way back down to uh, either to Valentine or Rhodes. Uh, but yeah, send me uh, send me a telegram if uh, if you are around, and I will I will try and uh, try and come and find you. All right. Well, fun job today. Uh, no problem, my friend. Uh, I'm glad we uh, glad we managed to find her. Uh, you can just go, sir. Thank you. Yeah, go. All right, I'm gonna go and uh, put my head down. But uh, it was good to see both of you again. Good to see you as well. Mm. After all these years, Miguel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Feel like a long time. All right, you uh, you take care of each other out there. You too. Can we get inside? Yeah. Can get inside, yeah. Nice. Put that back. I never knew this little cabin was enterable, to be honest with you. Hell. I suppose you can't see it. Huh? It's nice. Right. Um, your own horse. Yeah, as I just thought I might call it now because it's just gone sort of midnight um, for me, and I'm trying to like, as I say, bring my finishing and starting times further forward in the day, um, so we're not like up until silly o'clock um, all the time. But um, yeah, I've had a good little night tonight. Um, it's quite a few familiar names on as well at this sort of time as well, which is good. Um, Sombra was great fun as well, um, where we made, what did we make? I think 13 gold nuggets? Yeah, 13 gold nuggets. Um, and our lucky rabbit's foot, I think, might have helped with that, possibly. Um, I don't think we've got any telegrams, though, so I just thought I'd check that just in case. Um, but yeah, we'll, um, let me just bring up... Uh, a window so we can try and uh, send a raid or a host over to somebody um, and then we'll um, we'll end the stream there and yeah as I say hopefully um, everyone's had a good night good day good afternoon morning etc <laughs> um, just bear with me a minute because I can't see the uh, the chat. I've got it all on my um, second screen, so it's kind of taking up the whole uh, the whole window. Um, but yeah, Let's see if we can't find someone to uh, throw the raid over to. Uh, do, do. Uh, sorry, just scrolling through here. 
Um, ah, Grim Titan is live at the moment. We could pop you over to him. Um, or we met. We saw him briefly earlier on. Actually, I'll send you over to Zan the Third again. Um, but uh, oh, hang on a second. <laughs> If I um, don't mess this up, maybe ended up shutting the window again. Um, right, bear with me a second. So we'll just uh, do a quick raid. Zan the third. Go and show him some love in the uh, in the chats. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll be on tomorrow. Um, we'll see what uh, what the night holds for us, and uh, yeah, I've got to be up pretty early tomorrow, um, so uh, I can do some bits and pieces, and um, yeah, I've got to go and um, be around so that my housemate can come over in the morning and um, yeah, get himself sort of moved in and stuff. So I will have to be up early. That's why we've got to sort of be shorter on the stream tonight. But um, yeah, I hope everyone has had a good night and um, I will see you all tomorrow. Take care and see you soon.